Did you know that when you book a jewellery maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our jewellery maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Hi Jewellery Makers, I'm Linda Jones, the creator of the Whammer Hammer. This is a multi-tool hammer. It's got five heads. It's everything you need for all your jewellery making needs. So I'll be demonstrating all the heads. So please join me for a fantastic jewellery show. Don't want to miss a jewellery maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. wonderful weekend Monday morning bright and early the Sun is shining and I'm joined by these gorgeous people Emma Perry on camera there you go no messing around this morning Emma no mess I'm liking your jumper by the way thank you mon amour it says mon amour it's French it's got to be a bit saucy isn't it it's got to be a bit saucy then if it's French <laughs> um, oh, our wounded little soldier as well, bless him. Lots of virtual cuddles for our wonderful Wayne, who who tripped over and sprained his ankle. He's got a poorly ankle. <laughs> bless you, Wayne. Bless you. He's, Adam is laughing at you. I know. It's not nice, Adam. It's not very nice. <laughs> he did sprain his ankle. He came in, he walked through the door this morning, literally a little hobble. I'm like, what's the matter? But they fell over. <laughs> Bless him. I won't tell the whole story. No. no. Basically, he fell over. He, he fair fell over with a couple of other... Yeah, leave it there. Uh, <laughs> Peace and us all together as well. He's back off his week's holiday. It's lovely, Adam, everybody. Uh, it's good to have you back, Adam. Did you have a nice rest, though? He had a nice rest, nice week off. Deserved week off. And now we're sort of shocking him with the extra early starts now because we come in that little bit earlier um, at the studio. So we're all ready and raring and good to go. So oh, none of us slept well last night. None of us could sleep. Mine's going into overdrive. Do you ever have that? Um, luscious Laura. There she is. Beautiful Laura. 
Um, there's, oh, she, and like I said, she's, got her, she's always spinning multiple plates, especially when it is as jam-packed as today's show actually is. But um, what is included in today's show? So if you weren't able to join me on the Facebook Live on Jewelry Makers Facebook page, your early bird are some simply breathtaking lapis lazuli rounds. Plus we have 925 sterling silver clearance. We have one of our favorite human beings on the entire <laughs> planet, Alison Tarry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there she is. And can I say, you're looking amazingly blooming gorgeous. I'm definitely blooming. You're gorgeous. <laughs> It's, oh, thank you. That's really, really kind of you. It, I can't wait to see you, Alison, but I'm, just to give you a heads up, I'm double the size that I was probably last time I saw you. It's been a while. It has been a while. Are you okay? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh we've been missing you. But And, and uh, Wayne said, Alison's coming on from 8 o'clock, and we all did a little, uh, little happy dance. Oh, love you guys. I'll be back soon. Yes. Definitely be back soon. Yes. We can't wait. Um, talk to us about your kit that's coming up in the nine o'clock hour, just quickly. Oh, oh my gosh. Are these, look, they're just amazing. Whichever direction you look it from, it, I just loved it. And I love the way, you know, when you slice rock and it goes all the way through? Yeah. And, and I love the way, and let me just show you on this necklace. Sorry. But look at the way it goes all the way through because it, it sort of gives you that blurred effect. Amazing. Love it. I absolutely so love it. So this is it. your fossil jasper that's coming up in your <laughs> nine o'clock kit alongside some beautiful blue opal oh, and oh. lots of findings. But let's just t t tell everybody what we've got coming up throughout the rest of the oh, show as well because, Alison, you've been spoiled with oh. lots and lots and lots of the strands that are coming up, which include... Um, oh, what? yes, there it is. Ratnakiri Blue. How yeah. did I know you were going to pick that one up first? Um, <laughs> stunning Oops. Ratnakiri Blue Zircon. We've got, oh, one of my favourite strands of the day, the Specitite Garnet, which is oh, just electrifying that. in that most desired golden orange colour. We've got Back in oh. Stock by Very Popular Demand. Our viewers are just looking at it right now. Your Abalone Mosaic Beads. Oh, Alison, that's amazing because it's quite lightweight, isn't it? It is lightweight. You can get away with it. I mean, I've made earrings and they're so lightweight. Oh, I love those. You, you can I get away those. with them. They're, they're like a little they're solar they're... system. Hey? Yeah, I know. They're just Beautiful. absolutely incredible. And Love your that. deal of the day, well, actually, we've got a double deal of the day today. So it's not just one, there's two. A gemstone I very seldom get the chance to talk about, and I'm wearing the necklace that our in-house designers, who are also back. Welcome back to our in-house designers. Um, this is beautiful, Sveen. I'm loving the necklace that you've created, ladies. Look at that electrifying green. You're, this is the most desired colour of your Sveen. One of, if not, uh, certainly up there with the, the most dispersive gemstones on the entire planet. So if you love fire... Um, and dispersion then this is a gem for you so it's coming your way at 11 o'clock what have you got there so i've got sveen with the um zircon the brown is it brown zircon and then the sveen in uh, a bangle oh beautiful with some amazing 925 sterling silver uh, no uh, no it's, uh, it's my lighting it, it's it's um the, the champagne gold oh beautiful i like that combination and Mega auction deal of the day quantity in your chrome diopside. Now, I'm desperately trying to no. recall if we've ever had um, an eight millimeter solitaire round brilliant cut faceted chrome diopside opportunity jewelry makers. Well, we're bringing it to you at 11 o'clock. Mega auction plus, bearing in mind, you know, Jake Thompson, gem investor, has told us that he can't get hold of this gemstone. Can't get hold of it um, at, currently. This is one of the biggest that I've ever seen. Look at that. Beautiful. I've got 204 of these and they are going to be affordable as well. Um, so we're going to have an absolutely fantastic Monday morning show. And I hope you can <laughs> stay with us for the complete duration, jewelry makers. Um, okay, so without further ado, straight into to your one of your big auctions. It's your early bird and the beauty that is the MD just walking past. Hi, Mark. Hello. The beauty that is our MD, our MD, Mark. <laughs> Lapis <laughs> Lazuli. Woo! Um... <sighs> 
Here it is, jewellery makers. Now, now, seriously, we all know lapis lazuli. I think even with little to no gem knowledge, we know about this gemstone. However, the most sought after colour is that deep electric blue and of course the perfect amount, the perfect quantity um, of your pyrite inclusions. Look at this strand, look at that electric blue, they're 10 millimeter standalone solitaires and your graphics are immediately live. I have a quantity of 102 but let me just give you a little heads up for this uh, Monday morning. They are going to be priced to sell out so make sure you start adding them to your baskets nice and early. Highly treasured gemstone for thousands of years um, we know that this is a treasure that has been found even in prehistoric tombs. Um, due to its deep shades of blue, it's been associated with godliness and supernatural forces. Immediately, uh, welcome to our five new customers that have just joined us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Check out your baskets or those of you on the phone line, stay where you are. Um, this is not where we are stopping. So even if you make your confirmation now um, or at the end of the auction, everybody's going to pay that final low. So just a few examples of what you can actually do with this incredible historic treasure that is lapis lazuli. Um, I mean, these might be different sizes, doesn't make any difference. You know, with the wonderful skills and inspiration of the likes of Alice and Tarry, then, yeah, you can, do, you can do anything that you set your mind to. It would be amazing in a Marla uh, necklace, as pointed out by Director Adam. Totally agree. Um, so the most, uh, th th this, this gemstone, like I said, is historical. Um, obviously, Pharaohs in ancient e Egypt actually wore this gemstone, believing it had a religious significance and also enabled their status uh, and leadership skills. The mask of Tutankhamun, of course, was actually laden with lapis lazuli. And I could go on about lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of different historical uh, legacies that lend themselves to to this gemstone. Lapis lazuli literally means blue stone and it was actually once upon a time ground down to use uh, in cosmetics by ancient Egyptians, uh, most famously of course uh, Cleopatra. But as a, an actual adornment, as a piece of jewellery, we've treasured this gemstone like I said for centuries, thousands of years and this is the quality that we actually aspire to. We are not stopping here, it is your early bird, no way near that price tag in actual fact for big statement 10 millimeter rounds, perfect for Marla necklaces, as Adam said, at £12.95. Can I just point out, at the bottom of your screens, this is the original location of source and still the most noted uh, location of source of lapis lazuli in the world, everywhere. Afghanistan is the leading source of this gemstone um, and some of the mines have uh, are still been actively, uh, which are still being actively mined, have done so for thousands upon thousands of years. £12.95 only, hello to you. Hayley in Hampshire, hello to you Margaret, hello to you Angela, hello to you Sally, Pauline, Patricia, Deborah. Keep on dialing through jewelry makers. How beautiful would this be if, as we're talking Marla necklaces, as, we, as we've dropped that one in there, how about yeah. using these as your, as your guru beads? Oh, they'd be lovely, wouldn't they? Oh, do you know, I was thinking that, that it would go beautifully with those. Yes, yeah, it it's going to be with them. So that's a Marla necklace, what we're looking at right now. And the amber in this piece is obviously the guru beads. They have a significance and they, um, uh, you have to forgive me, it's, it's a DVD that we actually do, but they're, they're, they're placed, positioned in certain areas of the Marla necklace, aren't they? Um, so, so it's, it, yeah, does it, it's something to do with their mantras and sort of, have we still got Alison? I'm still here. Yes, we've I'm still got a lovely Alison. Make sure you check out, though, because this is already flying. I mean, we're talking Marlin necklaces, and obviously you saw some wire work, but Alison, I could literally just knot these or put it onto elastic, couldn't I? Oh, absolutely you could. Or do a ladder weave like I've done, again, with the mosaics. They, they, just a simple ladder weave. They'd look amazing. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. The, so, so that I mean, same design just, that you did with the mosaic necklace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and we've got we've got how to do do that on our website. So that's uh, available. That tutorial is available on our website for free. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's at the bottom. In there the, you go. In the so for free, have a little look on there. There's lots of tutorials for you to learn from. Um, again, popular strand, I'm not surprised. I mean, because with lapis lazuli, it's one of those powerfully uh, um, rich and opulent gemstones, and it goes with every single precious metal finding. Um, um, that you might uh, that you might have within your stash, but it's yeah. also really complementary of other colours, isn't it? I think electric blue is yeah. so complementary. Well, do you know I was thinking it would go and an electric blue and it would go great with the first kit. Yeah. Kit. Because because that blue um, opal would go lovely with it as well. 
Yeah, I've just placed that on the on the mm -hmm. back of my hand. Yeah, that's a lovely combination. Right, okay, because this queue's on the phone lines, and this is only our first auction of the morning, jewelry makers, <laughs> and we want your Monday to be one to absolutely remember. Um, in the essence of time, we've got a hundred of these, or rather we did have a hundred of these available jewelry makers. We're taking it under £10 for you, but um, know that that size lapis lazuli, especially of this quality, should not be anywhere near a single figure price tag. Um, so if you, were, if, you were, if you were hesitating, or if you thought, oh, do I, don't I, look at, look at the gold. Look at the amount of pyrite that's included in each of these lapis yeah. lazuli natural <laughs> treasures. These aren't dyed. That's completely natural. I think that's an incredible strand. I'm, I'm not sure why he's got it under 10, apart from the fact that he's got a bad ankle. Um, yeah, <laughs> he, he, he could, that's, you just put an idea in his head now, Alison. He'll probably use that excuse quite a lot throughout the course of the morning. Oh, it's my ankle. It made me do it. <laughs> Lots of you upping your quantities. I think that's really savvy. Hello, Carol, Janice. Hello to you, London. Hello to you, uh, Karen. Hi, Angela. Hello to you, Patricia. Hello to you, Sally. Hello to you, Gillian. Hello to our new customers. Stay where you are on those phone lines. And, and if you are on the web, then make sure you check out those baskets. There is a queue. We are busy. Um, there's a, a lot of new customers, which is wonderful. When we say queues, it's a free phone telephone number off our off a UK landline, and our queues are minimal. I'm talking literally a matter of a couple of minutes. So do bear with us. Um, our call centre are amazing. Paula in Ireland, hello to you. Elizabeth Jade in Manchester, Pauline in Lanarkshire. I hope you're well as well. Lots of twos and threes. I can see Marla necklaces galore, and it's one of those perfect gemstones actually that would really lend itself to. I think because of the um, lots of people have got. Uh, uh, religious beliefs attached to this gemstone as well, um, as well as the actual inspiration of the design itself. Can I can I say Adam's inspired there because because I'd never have thought of putting amber with the lapis, but seeing that marla necklace, I think it'd go lovely. Yes, I love I'd that idea, Alison. Yeah, the amber with the lapis lazuli would be beautiful because it's gonna it's gonna sort of ricochet off your um, off your pyrite inclusions, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's going to look amazing. Beautiful. Love that. So if you've got any amber in your stash, um, if mm -hmm. you don't, don't worry, because we have got amber coming up in, on the weekend, which will go beautiful. <laughs> Get your lapis lazuli now ahead of the weekend's amber showcases. Well done. I'm going to leave that with you. I will recap it because there is a queue. Don't abandon those calls. There's still quantity there. I'm just moving on because we've got lots to squeeze in. <gasps> Loads to squeeze in, including sterling silver. Ooh. All sterling silver in this hour. Lots of stock, though, so you have to be super speedy. Um, love these, Alison. I mean, if, I, if you got two, I'm a very basic jewellery maker. It's fine. I know this. So take this, pop it onto a shepherd hook. Yeah. You've just made yourself some opera-length genuine pearl earrings. Yes. Basically. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, they also work beautifully with your slider bracelets, don't they? Yeah, yeah, great with slider bracelets. Great in if you've got a, a pearl necklace, pop those in one section of the pearl necklace. Oh, for, for gorgeous. How on earth are we at seven ninety five? <gasps> oh, it's clearance, of course, of course, it's sterling silver clearance. Hi, wow. Nikki. Hi, Elle, Alison, Emma, Laura, Adam and Wayne. Ooh. It's sunny in hun Huntingdon. Uh, looking forward to a fab show. The sun's out, yes. It's been really? fairly dreary the last week, hasn't it? Still raining here. Is it? I think yeah. it's I think it's forecast to be quite nice um, for the rest okay. of the day. So, oh, well, that's good, Nikki, because everyone has a bigger <laughs> smile on their face, I think, when the sun's shining. Well, I do. I do. That's how it affects me. Um, really gorgeous. I love the idea of actually having this sort of asymmetrically in amongst some pearl, um, maybe some knotted pearls. Last yeah. in stock opportunities, though, so you do have to be quite quick. I can't guarantee for sure that we are going to re recommission that exact same design. Moving on. Can I just say about, while you're moving on, yeah. how about putting it with some chain as an anklet? Like Love that. It. It's the right time of year for anklets, isn't it? Absolutely. In Absolutely. the winter, they don't really, they don't sit nicely under your tights. But in the summer... <laughs> And do you think ribbed woolly tights? Yeah, not so much. But in the summer, lovely. Love an anklet. And if you've got a couple of them, then you can make a full one, couldn't you? Oh, um, yes. Oh, look. Should we have a little bit of romance? Ooh. Look at these two. Aww. Have I got the right one? 
Hey, weddings back on now, aren't they? Oh, they are weddings back on. Sorry, I got the wrong number. They're coming up. Oh. They're coming up. But actually, stick with the romance. Let's stick with that. Because I'm actually thinking, as you say, weddings, because you're getting the two, that could be two beautiful, um, I don't know, personalised bracelets or necklaces, curved so it will fit across, you know, your wrist line. You could Definitely. put maybe your anniversary date on there. You could put uh, medical information if you wanted to. You could put initials. You could put your children's names. You could put a favourite favourite saying, whatever it is. That's a lot of 925 sterling silver. Um, <laughs> That you, yeah, that you're getting, and you're getting both. I, I bought these the first time they're actually brought to air, and I've literally just macrameed from either side. Yeah, um, yeah. And it, I, I love it. It's the kind of jewellery that I would wear on a daily basis, you know? 10 95 so that's working out £5.50 for all of that precious metal. I mean, customization and personalization is mm. massive at the moment, isn't it? Probably more so than ever, I think, Alison. Yeah, you go, definitely. If you go onto that website, that might be on high streets. It might not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, ab absolutely. And, uh, you know, because people have been at home and, and perhaps had time to try new things. I mean, I'm loving that. I'm thinking also as a pair of earrings with a drop at the bottom. <sighs> Pop one of those lapis on the bottom of each. Oh, beautiful. Or a pair of earrings. That's, yeah, because it's a big amount of your sterling silver, isn't it? I'm turning oh, it that way so you can see the thickness here as well. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful quality. Yeah, Love I mean, it. you could put your family name, your surname on here. You could, I said earlier on about medical information because they're really expensive to buy, aren't they, medical bracelets? They are, they are. And, and, and you know, you could, you could put a lot, if you've got your, your Dremel um, stylo. Yes. You, you can you engrave could that. away. Two and a half grams you're getting in each of those. Well done. Yeah. Well done, well done. Okay, let's bring, oh love these now if ever you've walked past walked down bond street or hatton garden and you've had your nose pressed to their windows just <laughs> lusting <laughs> over the jewelry inside but maybe it's not i have um but maybe it's just not within your budget then here's an opportunity to create that ultra high-end look for a fraction of the cost. So this is gold-plated 925 sterling silver, but you have your cubic zirconia, which are exquisitely parve set, all the way around these stunning <gasps> teardrop pendants. Alison, wow. aren't they beautiful? And you're getting all four. Four of them? Yeah, oh, all wow. four. It's clearance. <laughs> it's cl uh, I mean, those on a shepherd hook would be absolutely amazing. I was thinking that's two earrings, a yeah. pair of earrings and two, two pendants. Uh, one at the, a pearl on top and then your shepherd. Oh, gosh, beautiful. Yeah. Um, and you've got enough to make an entire suite. This, as we're looking at the photography right now, really reminds me of Van Cleef. You know, they love that four-petal flower. Um, 11 95 only, purely because we're in clearance for your 925 sterling silver. There is no better time than to be getting hold of these um, exquisite. And the quality, you, I mean, you can see that quality. If I just flip this over... Look at the quality of that craftsmanship, yeah. through and, and through. And it's the detail of, of giving that access for that light in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's you're talking about the little the little yeah. dots in the back there. So that's bringing your cubic zirconia that ultimate brilliance. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Well done. Double trouble. Oh, now I love these. I bought, again, bought, I buy a lot of our sterling silver. I bought these the first time they were brought to air. Um, you're getting two pairs. They're so designer. Uh, and it goes to show that, you know, these aren't just, this isn't just a finding. This is a piece of jewellery in its own right. So you get the butterfly backs, but look at these. Ooh. A genuine look. pearl on that exquisite textured it's almost coral-like, isn't it? Uh, mm. um, detail of 925 sterling silver. For both pairs, look at the investment of precious metal even in the post. So how many of us have actually put earrings on before and they've bent before you even managed to do them up? Really yeah. frustrating, isn't it? Um, I shouldn't imagine that's going to happen with these just because there's so much precious metal invested into them. Really beautiful quality. You've got that loop at the bottom there for you to suspend something, I don't know, a, a pearl, an abalone. These would be amazing with the abalones. In fact, let's grab one. Here we go. So just imagine one of those abalone suspended from the bottom. Oh, stood. And that would be easy to do, wouldn't it, Alison? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Pop, pop one of your abalone on a head pin, loop at the top, through the loop of that and you're done. 
So easy. Job done. It's going to take you minutes. Minutes to do. How many do I have of these then, Wayne? 28 within the vault, but like I said, there's collectors jumping all over <laughs> these last in stock clearance deals. Um, why wouldn't you? Like I said, these were only launched, I think, at the latter part of 2019. I can't guarantee for sure that we are going to be able to get the exact same design in again. We don't always, you know, recommission every single da design because ones like this we want to keep very exclusive and quite limited edition. They're beautiful. I had those in the rose gold. I bought those in the rose. They're really pretty. Well done. And if you took one of the posts off, you've got a pendant. Oh, yeah. And that's, again, just nip it off, mm -hmm. isn't it? With, yeah. your, with your flush nip cutters. It off, nip, nip it off and file it, and you've yeah. got a pendant then. Quick buff. Yeah. There you go. Job done. Um, again, so designer. I've only got 20, though. Um, look at places like, I'm going to say it, before the team all roll their eyes. Look at Monica Veneda. She's loving these kind of textured, precious oh. metal designs at the moment. Very organic, aren't they? Very Mother mm -hmm. Nature inspired. But instead of polishing them, they've actually created this beautiful brushed effect. Isn't it stunning? Um, I... and, and that, sorry, Alison, I keep interrupting you. Go on. No, I interrupted you, sorry. No, I was just saying, I love that. It's, it's like a satiny finish, isn't it? Yeah, silky. Mm. 9.95 for all three again look at look at look at the thickness of these pendants um there's a, a designer that I, I i've just found and i don't know if she's actually i don't think she's sort of a global brand i think she's quite a local jeweler but she, i was talking about her the other day um and basically what she's put come up with they do it in sterling silver and also they do it in in gold um but pendants like this and talking about personalization is that you can get your children's fingerprints actually put on the front of them yeah. they're so sweet but you're talking for a gold one you're talking thousands of pounds um but just such a lovely idea and i think mm. you can kind of do similar um with these couldn't you you know maybe their initials or a birth date or something like that you get three for that price tag so that's working out three pounds 32 per sterling silver um beautiful organic pendant but instead of the high polish you've actually got it in these really uh, exquisite satin like effect aren't they and you can physically the, the feel of of them is very, they're very it's, it's very pleasing isn't it because you get those undulations as well well done and then there's nothing stopping you stamping on those two no or, or popping because you've got those dents you could pop a bit of resin or serolune in, in one of them oh and nice pop, pop a stone on it i like that idea oh. yeah good old serolune works mm. with everything doesn't it um it okay here we go look at these beautiful little little tiffany bows Oh, yeah. This is what I'd call a fancy bow. You know, when it actually has the curves. Yeah. The curves of as if you'd actually t you know tied it yourself. Um, all nine two five sterling silver. All with that beautiful buttery yellow gold. All for nine ninety five. You know, wow. again, one at the bottom of your abalone that we've got coming up. Yeah. One with your lapis lazuli. One with your sphene, or maybe your spessartite. It would go with all of them. I love it. They're so they're, pretty. They're the sort of thing that I'd be buying. So if I was making um, a range of jewellery, then I'd have one of those um, on the clasp. Yeah. Just as a finishing touch. They're that, they're that detail that you can add that really elevates your jewellery. Yeah, and, t and, and makes, it, makes it a collection, doesn't it? You know... Um... Because collections often have their uh, same sort of signature symbol or motif. And I agree, actually having this as, um, as that sort of recognition, if you like. All for 9 95 How many did I have, Wayne? Only 33 of these available jewellery makers. Um, I'd definitely be using it with the lapis lazuli. I think just one nestled on top of the lapis lazuli bee would be simply stunning. Um, single figure price tag. And I think, the, yeah, already in single figure quantity. So you do have to be quite quick off the mark um, to guarantee your success with each of these items. Right, okay. Uh, ah, here we go. We're going back to the romance. Oh, lovebirds. Oh. Does anybody keep lovebirds? My mum and dad they... used to. Yeah, they're very beautiful. Very, very beautiful birds. But, you know, they're, how do I put this? Antisocial. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, they don't know when to calm down. Here we go. Look at these. 
Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, silver entwined lovebirds. Look at those. Look at how many are actually getting. So likewise, same yeah. conversation, really, Alison. This could be your, uh, a collection, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah. The wedding collection. Could you imagine that on a piece of ribbon round round um, your flower girl's um, little posy? Oh, they'd be beautiful. Absolutely or as, beautiful. I'm just using your blue opal as well that's coming up within the kit. Yeah, stunning. Because that's the, yes, it, there's a serenity to it, and I definitely think that's that something blue of a bridal, um, of a bridal piece. You know, I, I to, there's so much potential of what you can do with these. Um, might be to signify, I don't know, an anniversary. It might be um, yeah. something that you give to your partner, um, just because. Whichever. Hello to you, Sharon. Morning, everybody. Could we see the abalone, please? Of course you can. Well, it's not just these, but these are our big auctions. They are back in stock by very very popular demand um they're called abalone mosaic beads love them yeah they are fab aren't they you th we take the finest pieces of abalone and jigsaw them together to get these beautiful displays this work of art really of mm. mother nature these are all coming up in the 10 10 o'clock hour i'm still getting used to the new hours yes it's like okay these are kind of the 12 got no they're not no they're not no 10 <laughs> There you go. Um, so these are coming your way. They are beautiful. And like I said, they, the first time we ever launched these, they flew out the door. They're back in stock by very popular demand. Um, so any crests like that, just message us in. Message us in. Okay, let's do... Ah. Gold dust. It's not actually gold dust, but the, it's like gold dust. Hang on. Because these are an absolute necessity. We can't make much jewellery uh, yeah. without our crimps. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's one of those findings, Alison, we're hard pushed to make as well, aren't we? Oh, gosh, yeah. No, I, w I wouldn't like to make those. Yeah. You well, have, I think you'd, you'd have think... to be a silversmith, really. I have 90 of these available. Wow. And whilst, yes, they have a function, they're also really beautiful. So they look really nice, actually, uh, sort of treated a as a bead itself and can you see on the right hand side of the screen so those of you that are new the little the one which is attached to the jump ring that's your crimp and it's you squash it don't you Alison and that's what secures um stops it all coming undone it's literally just squashing so they're really strong we must never the underestimate a little crimp tube no don't don't underestimate them that they, they, they will hold the weight I mean I've used them. I've used them on this necklace, and and these aren't lightweight um, beads. Mm. There's there's crimp beads at the top of there because this is with beading thread. Um, they'll they'll hold weight, um, but they're also like you say, they're pretty beads. So yeah. I've been known to use them as spacer beads. Why well, not? You they're, saying they're that? You saying that, Alison? I'm just going to show everybody at home the spacer tight garnet because imagine, <laughs> imagine those. Space between us. Oh, that mm. is stunning. That's is beautiful. Spin. One of my strands of the day, I think. I love specitite garnet. That's totally natural. Totally, totally natural. Um, wow, Wayne has just said that's actually one of the best specitites I've ever seen. Yeah, I'd agree. It's electrifying and that's the most desired colour. But yeah, just imagine using these crimps in between. Uh, 7 95 We only had 90 of these and all around the world getting involved. There is a queue on the phone lines. We know that, uh, but it's minimal. So thank you for bearing with us. Hello to you, Michaela. Hi, Elle, Alison and team. I'm thinking of making a pendant with two angel wings um, with family birthstones in the centre. What do you think? I think that sounds beautiful. <coughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Stunning. And Michaela Lovely. was saying to me, only yesterday actually, I messaged Michaela and she was saying, I've lost my mojo. I've, I, can't, I find that hard to believe because Michaela's work's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And I've got loads of incredible gemstones today, Michaela. So, um, <coughs> yeah, I, I think, how about some Ratnakiri blue for your angels? <coughs> um, 7 95 you, you are being answered. Stay holding. Lots of you have it in your baskets all around the world. Lovely to be with you. I actually need to stock up on those because I'm quite short of crimp beads at the moment. And yeah, I'm getting uh, short on findings in general. Yeah, are you? Are you short? Yeah. Well, this hour then, Alison. Uh, oh, what good. number, sorry? Stay tuned then, Alison. <laughs> let's, let's go, let's have some butterflies. Oh. Beautiful butterflies. They're all out at the moment. I've been seeing loads of butterflies. Yeah. Yeah, it is nice to see, isn't it? 
Mm. Um, we took a walk along a little one of our a river that's local to us, mm. and it's t so nice to see the butterflies. They almost play together, don't they? But also <laughs> um, dragonflies. Oh yes, lots of dragonflies. Look at how many you're getting for all of these. They're studs, so you don't have to do anything to these. But at the same time, if you wanted to transform them, you absolutely can. I mean, hang on, two, four, six, eight. How many pairs? Six pairs. Six pairs for nine. Wow. Can we just, Wayne, six pairs of 925 rose gold plated for under 10 pounds. That is absolute clearance. So that's working out at how much? £1.65 per pair of 925 rose gold plated butterfly earrings. That's Bonkers. insane. And again, I just think, you know, really nice just because gifts. Mm, absolutely. Just because. At that price, most definitely. I'm just going to show you. These are the studio samples. One of them in the ear. Look how pretty these are. Look at how beautiful. The kind I, I wear... Oh. I wear studs all the time. You know, it's one of those, I can't, I used to wear long dangly earrings, up, but I, even on night out, I tend to favour studs now because it's just so comfortable. Look at that beautiful brilliance from the cubic zirconia. You know, sit amazingly in the earlobe. That's working at a 165, and these are 925, so you're less likely to have uh, any irritation. We had 45, half the stock's gone. Six. Pairs. 20 of you have them in your baskets. Don't worry, these are, as I said, studio samples. Rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. Plus, you also get the butterfly backs. I mean, for them alone. Have yeah. you ever tried to replace your butterfly backs? Uh, well, yeah, absolutely. They're, they're not cheap. They're really not, are they? If you order them online, you'll probably get a slightly yeah. better deal. Not than, than us, I'm saying, but than retail. But if I was to walk into a jeweller and just ask for a pair of those, I'm mm. fairly sure I'd pay around about what's on your screens right now. Um, thanks, ladies. I think my mojo may, made a flying visit, uh, though. It, didn't, it did run off for a while. Um, it won't tell me where it's been, though. Well, <laughs> it does that. But it's so lovely to have it back. And yes. make sure, get creating whilst it's there and all the, your creative juices are flying. 9 95 these are going to be an on-screen seller. I've got nine left, 17 in baskets. I mean, why not? At that price tag, that's insane, isn't it? I was talking about, um, uh, we, Emma and I were chatting about it because um, my little one, has, she's got, we always say it's her boyfriend. And he's not, they've been, him and his mum have been social, and his whole family actually, been social, uh, they're isolating um, due to medical reasons. Um, but they've been there for four months. Um, so we were like, okay, let's take some, let's do a drawing. We're looking to do a nice drawing for her, her, her boyfriend, James. And I'll take some flowers round literally just leave them outside the front door something like that would be so lovely yeah. wouldn't it a bunch of flowers would cost a whole lot more moving on uh, I'd, I'd love to if you have multiple piercings can you ha imagine having this trail of butterflies going up your ear a kaleidoscope yeah. of a butterflies kaleidoscope up kaleidoscope your ear yes love that Alison these are exquisite all three are look at it's like a vintage frame. Look how beautiful. And they are just crying out. And I, you could look at, look at that. Wow. Luster, luster, luster. Ooh, yeah. Solid Ooh. 925 precious metal. You've That's... got that beaded frame. What would you do with these then, Alison? Well, I, I, the, the options are so open with that. I mean, it's beautiful as it is, the reflect, re, reflectiveness of that. It's almost mirror-like, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> But you could you could engrave on it. You could do a you could you could etch something into it. You could use it as the back for for some resin. Yeah. And do and do um use your doming resin on it. It would look amazing. Put something underneath it. Have a pattern on it. You could I, glue I, onto these as well. You know, if you yeah. if you've got a favourite cabochon or something yeah. like that, you could actually glue that cabochon onto this. There's nothing wrong with that at all. You're getting three. Is that not the price that one should be? Yes, Wayne says. Clearance, he says, and he's got a bad foot. You could wire work round them because you've got yes. those big the edge. You could actually use those as anchor points. Permi uh, permission uh, to say the word, you've got nodules. Oh, nodules. Nodules. 
<laughs> you could use those nodules as anchor points. You could, absolutely. <laughs> um, I don't know why that word tickles me. Always makes me smile. Nodules. You can, of course, solder onto them because they're sterling. Yeah, good point. So you create a, you could create a setting for maybe that chrome diopside off centre. Oh, lovely. Now, Alison, I've never even seen these before. They are massive sugar skulls. They're ace, aren't they? Look I, at I, the I size. The brilliant. That's brilliant. that's a big pendant. Again, I'm turning mm -hmm. it on its side so you can see the thickness and, and the curve. Sugar skulls are hugely popular in the jewellery uh, sector at the moment. What on earth? I mean, that is low for one, I should imagine. If you look at designers like Thomas wow. Sabo... Um, they use a lot of skulls in their inspiration. I think, again, these with a specitite or with a sphene would just be breathtaking. Beautiful. I've never even brought these to air, I don't think. I think I've seen the silver ones before. I think they're gorgeous. They're go they are, aren't they? And maybe yeah. bringing, back, bringing back your lapis lazuli. Just imagine one of those. Oh. Yes. Suspended from your lapis lazuli on a jump ring. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Love you, that. If you put them in front of a cabochon so that the cabochon colour comes through the eyes and the nose. Ooh, radiates yeah. through. That'd yeah, be lovely. Hang I love on. it with this. Let's see if I can kind of try and replicate that. Oh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, these are part of the bundle that's coming up in the, in the 11 o'clock hour, Jewelry yeah. Makers. Massive bundle. Um, again, how many do I have, Wayne? 44 of these available. Um, sugar skulls are actually a very positive symbol, aren't they? Hence the hearts for the uh, eye sockets. Um, it's actually a, a reminder to celebrate life yep. uh, and live, uh, live each day to the fullest as well. So very positive meaning. Um, right then, do you know what else is essential? We've had our crimps, we've had lots of amazing sterling silver clearance deals. So how on earth will we bring you an item that is probably up there in the top five of our jewellery maker customer shopping lists. Sterling silver, curb chains in all three colours, up next. Beautiful. I bought these. In fact, I had my delivery. I was telling you, you know, the amber pendant that we brought the other weekend. Um, mine arrived. I forgot to change it to collection, but it doesn't matter. I was wearing it yesterday, and I am so pleased with the with the pendant that I bought. Now, the reason why I'm telling you about that is because it's this, it's this exact chain that I w I'm wearing it on. Exact. I love the simplicity, a classic curb chain, but a curb chain with an investment of precious metal, so much so that you really can see that gram weight and you can see that beautiful, look, are you watching the light, the luster, circle all the way around the quality of this Italian made piece of 925 sterling silver. And I wasn't kidding when I said earlier on, this is probably in the top five, I'd say, mm -hmm. of... Um, most needed and purchased items that we offer here at Jewelry Maker. Because you think about, and we're showing you an amber pendant just there, it's on a chain like this. Think about the sphene, think about the abalone, think about the, the blue zircon, think about the specitite. They'll all be absolutely incredible, suspended from this amazing high quality 925. 18 inches, which means it's gonna sit just below the nape of the neck. I do have them in all three colours, uh, jewellery makers. So if you if you're a silver wearer, a rose gold wearer, or you like to sort of stack them, layer them up, very Cartier, um, then stay with me. Five pounds and twenty five pence. I chuckle slightly because that. I mean, it is ridiculous. You're right, Wayne. It's ridiculous for this level of quality. You know, you can go onto the high street, granted, and the jewellery shops are open now, aren't they? And yeah. maybe buy maybe by a trace chain one of those that has is like literally 
a, with, with a single breath it will disappear. Um, this has got a gram of precious metal. I'm just going to turn it around to show you the, the quality of the, of the lobster clasp that's actually invested in this too. It's also just so happens to be very similar to the chain that I'm wearing on with your Sveen right now. Um, but you can really see that quality. And jewelry makers, I know that you, look, you might be thinking, okay, I've got chains already in my stash. Alison, do we always need to multi-buy as jewelry makers? Oh yes, absolutely. Why, see, why is that? Well, you use chains with, a, with all sorts. I mean, the first thing I saw when I saw that, um, the, the the zircon and the the clear the clear quartz drops was doing something like this. Yeah. The thing I reached for was was some fine chain. It would look lovely from one of those chains. Yeah, beautiful. And beautiful. And very high end, but very simple. Yeah, super simple. And I and I referenced it the other day. Uh, you know, um, Victoria Beckham. I really admire her style, and she wears a, a curb chain like this. Nothing on it, just a curb chain. Um, you know, and and it looks super super elegant yeah, just on absolutely. its own they, they do because of the quality and that luster you're going to pick them up it's not it's not some dull metal that you know is not going to say hello it's 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 shouting at you yeah. saying look at me i'm fantastic and it's lovely i mean i love it you can tell quality when you see that light track around it like you did when you were turning it yeah i i just love that and, and at that price, do you know what I want? I want all three, and I want to plait them together. Oh, amazing. Alison's talking about plaiting her chains. Now, stay holding yeah. again. There is a queue on the phone lines. Um, so I'm going to bring you the rows now, and I'm literally just going to sit it. Let's sit it just below. Uh, in fact, no, let me just take it off for now, and then I'll put the gold on in a second. So the rose gold, this is 20 inches. So layering is massively popular at the moment. So layering, what that basically means is wearing not just one necklace, maybe two necklaces, same with your bracelets and your rings, you're actually layering them up. Um, so having a difference in the length really does lend itself to that. So 20 inches, it does depend on your build. It's one of my favourite lengths because it kind of sits mid decolletage. Mm. 575 for your rose gold. Um, and I meant mentioned earlier on very Cartier-esque to wear them all together um, because you know they actually make pieces of jewellery with all three of the precious metals itself so beautiful aren't they super super pretty you see you see I'd go straight for that rose gold gold with the garnet <gasps> Uh, with a specitite garnet. Absolutely. Yeah, pick oh. out the reds inside the garnet because it is, of yeah. course, you've got wonderful flashes of red with this level of quality. Yeah, that would be amazing. A little cluster of those at the bottom. Mm -hmm. These are flying out the door. How many do I have, Wayne? 150. And you, again, you might be thinking, well, that's not clearance. No, technically, no, it's not. But um, chains should never be in our clearance hours because they are an absolute must, especially... At a clearance price tag, which 575 absolutely is. Uh, very good morning to you, Barbara, Julie, Wendy, Jenny, Tina, Pamela. Very busy. Stay where you are. I'm going to bring you. So silver have already been on pre-order, apparently. Oh. And 40 have already gone. So how many do we have there? 200. Yeah, it's not enough. So let's pick one of the sterling silver items that we had earlier on. Um... Do you know what I'm going to go with, Alison? Go on. One of those lovely textured 92, very Roberto coin. Beautiful, perfect. Look at that, perfect with it. Pop a, pop a, pop a jump ring on and yeah. you're good to go. That Stunning. would look amazing. Stunning. So you do need your chain. It's, yeah. the, uh, it's something that I run out of so frequently four pounds yeah. 75 even if you're what? well stocked on chains like i said i've bought chains recently um not just for the pendant that i was wearing but also for my stash for when i gift jewelry you know mm -hmm. it's worthwhile it's gosh isn't that isn't that very uh i can see uh, ancient rome there yeah very grecian um anyway but yeah i mean even if you're sort of gifting your jewelry you know it's super simple to put together a pendant and a chain and you've yeah. made professional jewellery within a couple of minutes. And, and I always think if you sell as well, so you sell pendants, very yeah. rarely would I sell a pendant with a chain, but I always have a selection of chains on offer. 
That's true because not everybody likes the same length, not everybody yep. likes the same design. A curb chain is probably one of the most versatile, I think. Right, we're yes. going to leave the graphics live for you, jewellery makers, because it's time for us to show off your creations and your talents. It's the Wall of Fame. One day, Adam is going to keep our, our mics live <laughs> for when we... You know, Alison, what do we do? We have a nice little sing-along. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we have voices of angels. Well, you do. <laughs> um, number 684 is coming from Norma Cowie. Ooh. Hello to you, Norma. Wow, beautiful wire work. Hi all at JM, I hope you're well. Loving the new show layout. I bought the wire coiling gizmo last week um, and so much more. Shh, okay, we won't tell. <laughs> so my entry this week is a smoky quartz and rose gold choker made with point uh, six millimeter wire and one millimeter rose gold wire and faceted four millimeter sw smoky quartz all from the recent purchases of jewelry maker i'm so pleased with the gizmo uh, very easy to use now i need rose gold findings to finish it off so a win would be lovely good luck to all and that's norma norma that's amazing and your secret safe with us it's beautiful I love my gizmo. I, I wouldn't be without my gizmo. It's a firm favourite of any wire worker. At 685, and this is from Francis Miller. Francis, I always admire your jewellery. Um, hi to all at Jewellery Maker. My entry this week is a necklace and earring set made up from Blue Tiger's Eye, Cherry Agate, which is just delicious, mm. and Swarovski Crystals. Not forgetting my lovely sea beads in size 8, which are great for spacers. All materials and findings are from Jewellery Maker. Good luck to everybody on the wall this week and that's Francis in Sterling. Francis, love that. Absolutely gorgeous. Number 686 is from oh, Sue. If I, 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 won't, I won't even attempt to pronounce your surname. Um, but it's beautiful. Uh, 686 is from Sue. Hi, here is my Ooh. entry for this week to the Wall of Fame. Beautiful pearls as always from Jewellery Maker and that's Sue in Derbyshire. Oh, Sue, I love those. Gorgeous Lush. clusters. Uh, 687 is from Christine. Lovely, Christine. Hi, all at JM. I hope you're all staying safe and well. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It, it's using the wonderful big link chains. I've made a long tassel necklace using fabulous amethysts. All the elements of the necklace were purchased from Jewelry Maker, and she says good luck to everybody. Love that. Stunning. Uh, 688 is from Lynn Wilkins. Hello, Lynn. Lovely. Uh, good morning to all. Attaches my entry to the Wall of Fame. A simple necklace adorned with peach moonstone. Um, doesn't look simple to me. It looks amazing. Um, all materials are from your good selves. Kind regards, and that's Lynn in Peckham. Um, I have number 689. Ah. Oh. Beautiful, from Julia Taylor. Hello, uh, I've made the pendant and necklace from one of Katie Parker's kits and tutorials. Everything apart from the fire polished beads at the end came from Jewelry Maker. I really need a win, as during lockdown I've spent a small fortune on Jewelry Maker. Hope everyone <laughs> is staying safe. Kind regards, and that's Julia um, in Croydon. Julia, I don't nah. think you're alone in that. I'm feeling it too. Because I can remember at the beginning of lockdown, my husband and I said, oh, well, we're not going out, we're not spending money, perhaps we'll have some nice saving. No. That didn't happen, did it? It didn't happen. <laughs> uh, 690 is from Margaret Gibson. Hi, I'm, oh, lovely Margaret. Remember to write a message this time. Um, rosary <laughs> link, I think, done with 0.6 rose gold covered coppered wire and three millimeter jump rings. Um, Earrings and pendant are a three stone Swarovski element and each link of chain has a three mil Swarovski bicone in the centre. Um, like everyone else, I'd like to thank Jewelry Maker for getting us through the first half of this year. Oh, lots of love to you, Margaret. That's lovely. Beautiful. Number 691 is from Jackie Davis. Oh, wonderful suit as Jackie. Hi all at JM, here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's my first attempt, really. Now, Alison, you love Soutash too, don't you? 
I love my soutache. That's uh, beautiful. This is a love first it. attempt. First attempt at soutache using a bundle of cord that were on the show a couple of weeks ago. The beads are shell pearls graduated in sizes from 8mm to 8, uh, sorry, 8mm mm to 4, um, also from Jewelry Maker. Thanks for giving me something new to try. And that's Jackie Davis in Abberley, Worcestershire, just down the road. Uh, 692 is uh, from Gemma Kelly. And she says, short and sweet, uh, please see attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. Good luck, all. 693 is from Karen uh, Hawksley. That's lovely. Love that, Karen. Oh, a little Buddha on there. Uh, <laughs> hi, all at JM. This is my latest make, a wish bracelet made from the comp all components from, Je uh, from Jewelry Maker. Thanks to you all for keeping us sane during these difficult times, and good luck. That's Karen. Um, do you know what? We, we, we all just, your piece there, Karen, just went, because Gemma made us all little Buddha bracelets, uh, little wish bracelets. Um, mine is only just work, work loose, so it's just reminded me that I have to do another one again. I love those little Buddha beads. They're amazing. Um, all of your designs, absolutely stunning as always, and fingers crossed for the, uh, the draw, which happens on Wednesday morning with the lovely Karen. The lovely Carol. Um, have we got time to squeeze a few more in? Yes. Let's squeeze in some more sterling silver. Some more absolute necessities. I haven't said it for a while, Emma, have I? <laughs> Did she just shake her, shake her jump rings up me? <laughs> Does perfect timing uh, for jump rings. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it almost didn't come out like that, did it? Uh, <laughs> There's only 43 of these available. So you mentioned earlier on, Alison, our jump rings is what you, you can suspend a simple pendant yeah. from a jump ring, attach it to the chains that you've just seen. Uh, absolutely. So, so um, if you had one of the one of those discs, you mm. could pop up a jump ring and pop it on. I would pop that on the rose gold. Actually, I take one of those re uh, um, silver. Um, satin ones hmm. with the rose gold jump ring and the gold chain. Oh, nice. Just, I like just, you know, change it up a bit. Mix it up a bit. You're getting a pack of 30. These are rose gold plated solid 925 sterling silver. Let me just explain what the ID stands for. That's internal diameter. That's, that's, that's relevant to if you're doing chain mail. Um, yeah. But you need your jump rings to finish. I mean, these are used as spacers, really beautiful yeah. as spacers. Um, so you can have that little pop of luster. But you, you need a jump ring as well to attach your clasp, to attach pendants, to attach yeah. charms, to attach, you know, they, they, they are a massively functional finding. You you can do a little um, chainmail um, motif with them. Whether you're just doing a Mobius ring, whether you're doing a Byzantine section to hang from the, the earrings and then pop a gemstone at the bottom, you you can't you can't get enough jump rings. No, exactly. Yeah, and, and, and you can you can make a jump ring, but these are precision cut, aren't they, Alison? So the and the reason why I'm turning it this way is so can you see where the, the the jump ring is actually open? They will align. I'll put one on the jump ring on the tweezers for now. They will align beautifully when you come to close them properly, won't they? So that that jaw yeah. almost completely disappeared. Um, again, over allocated. Well done. Okay. Um, yeah, you you need jump rings. Oh, you these all are beautiful. Jewelry. Whatever, whatever jewellery. So, so with your crimps, you know, you need to crimp onto something. So you put your jump ring on. Yeah. I'd never crimp directly onto a clasp if I can help it. I've only got 26 of these. It's our, it's our oh. little galaxy. Oh. Or universe, sorry. I love that. I've never seen these before. Aren't they brill? Again, look at that investment of precious metal. Sovereigns are making a return. Have you noticed that in jewellery? Yes, I have. Lots of sovereigns about at the moment. And I think there's a there's there's that kind of look to these. Um, yeah. So do you remember some time ago? And I'd, I've been really pushing to get these back. Do you remember when Jewelry Maker did that that universe stretchy bracelet? So oh, yeah. it flew, we had like 500 and they flew out in a set in, yeah. in a heartbeat. Um, you know, so I, I'd, I'd really like to see that back so that what they had a different gemstone which symbolized each, <laughs> each planet <laughs> and the wearer was the sun, obviously, as in you are my universe. Um, so so oh. I think this could have that same sentiment to them. To be under £10 for both of these. Uh, hello to you, Liz. Morning all. Um, I'm going into my 
beadery today to make something for my best friend. She needs a boost, and I know her favourite gems. JM to the rescue. Our oh, Liz to the rescue. Our oh, lovely Liz. Do you know what? Yeah, I think I think certainly over these the, the times that we've had recently, we've all had that moment, haven't we? Where we've just needed a little bit of a. Yeah. You know, one of those. Um, I think everybody's gone through that. So uh, lovely of you to sort of be, be there for her, Liz. Um, there you go. Her favourite gemstones. And we've certainly got some wonderful treasures too. Well, lots of love to you, Liz, and also to your friend. Okay, coming up after the break, Jewelry Maker, we've got Azza Tazza. <laughs> oh, she... oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mwah. There you go. Um, with the most beautiful, beautiful kit and stunning jewellery and, of course, demonstrations. Don't go anywhere. If you have any questions for Alison, then do text us live in the studio. We'll be back after this. strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button. Fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. I'm Linda Jones, the creator of the Whammer Hammer. 
This is a multi-tool hammer. It's got five heads. It's everything you need for all your jewellery making needs. So I'll be demonstrating all the heads. So please join me for a fantastic jewellery show. Jewellery Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Monday morning. Oh, do you know what? I am just fine and dandy because look at who we have joining us, uh, Skyping into the studio. It's you, <laughs> Alison. It's you. Hello, gorgeous. Mwah, mwah. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. Just to let you know, Emma is, is desperately hoping at some point um, your, your lovely little canine Pops's head interview. The the, Any of them? Oh no, they're all upstairs. Ah. They have biscuits. They're having biscuits. They are. They're, they're in biscuits upstairs. Oh, very well. We'll let them off then. Um, talk to us about this beautiful kit, because I can tell you what. Whilst whilst many of us can't travel at the moment, this is taking me there. Oh, isn't it? I mean, putting the the blue opal with it was genius because it does take you to that sort of tranquil sea doesn't yeah. it yeah and it's yeah. lovely i mean just one on a bracelet how gorgeous and i i love it because you can see all the way around and it's such a it's such a visual um piece of jewelry this yeah such a visual stone i love it and then you just those little blue accents stunning I mean, stunning stunning <sighs> kit so you, you've got jewellery makers. Now, just to make you aware, this kit is, is quite limited. We've got 97. And, and the fact that you have got genuine natural mm. uh, Peruvian blue, that opal, the blue is Peruvian opal. And then <laughs> a gemstone that I could probably count on one hand, the amount of times that we see on our screens, that is fossil jasper. <laughs> I mean, as if, as if an, uh, owning a gemstone isn't amazing enough, then to actually have these beautiful fossilization patterns so clearly in yeah. the gem as well. So these are not printed. These are not reconstituted. This is a fossil pattern that has been actually made in the gemstone itself over, I mean, thousands <laughs> upon thousands upon thousands of years. So I agree with you, Alison, when you say it is such a visual gemstone. It's one of those that, like you said, on the wrist, you're going to want to sort of turn um, yeah. and pivot so you can see all of those beautiful, beautiful patterns. I'm yeah. just going to turn the strand this way to show of our, uh, all our jewellery maker viewers because we have large, generous drill holes in here. So even definitely your, your findings that come within the kit, but even some of your, your, your wires will go through these um, and maybe even leather will breeze through um it's totally natural 
those patterns you know literally that's all mother nature's doing that has formed and been created over thousands of years as i said we're not just bringing you peru just bringing you peruvian opal and fossil jasper though in this kit because you have one of our newest findings packs um now really? look at the size of it you're getting your featherweights you're getting your head uh, your normal head pins two of your magnetic silver plated clasps you're getting your crimps you're getting your crimp covers um, further spacers you're getting a pair of stud earrings that have a little loop at the bottom for you to suspend you've got shepherd hooks jump rings eye pins and let me just assess a lot of chain over a meter of chain so this is 75 pieces in your findings pack ah oh, look they're beautiful stud earrings the findings pack i don't think we've ever had stud earrings in a findings I, pack. I don't think so either i'm You've not got, sure even uh, in the sterling silver we had them yeah no i don't think i don't think we did loved it absolutely loved it you have so many findings i used um the eye pins gosh can't remember last time we had eye pins in a, in the findings pack yeah so they it just disappeared you know, the only thing i've added extra to this was a bit of beading thread oh we'll let you off the beading thread will you let me off will you let me off um i just loved it and i made a really long one they they lend themselves to being this is there's a lot of chain at the back this is a long line one perfect Lovely. these would be perfect with your malas as your yeah. focal bead <gasps> absolutely love them but the, the way they move and and the fact that every side gives you something new yeah they're Just absolutely exquisite aren't they and and i almost feel like we're not we're not talking about the peruvian opal nearly enough because that no. is a rare it's an anomaly of nature to be naturally colored yeah. that blue you know and and it is naturally colored but you've got fossil jasper in here so the rarity of the gemstone plus the fossilizations right what we're going to do jewelry makers because this is limited and the price that the kit is going to i'm going to say this in my opinion for the for the the amount of findings alone is amazing for the fossil jasper alone is amazing for the peruvian blue opal alone is incredible so i think it's buy one and you're getting three lots of extras for free <laughs> so we'll put clock to graphics 60 seconds and that's when your graphics will appear there are 97 of these available in the world um now alison i mean you said you added just yep. some of our threading material that's fine you can get that on a website most people actually have it within their stash already if you don't website it's cheap as chips um it, it, but, just that one piece that i've added that but you could have used the the eye pins going through yeah. I yeah. just I just wanted it to flow. So, so is this a kit that even brand new beginners could get involved with? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, the bracelet, you've got um, an eye pin going through the middle, make a loop either side. You've got this eye, is an pin eye pin loop either side. Um, and don't waste. So when you've when you've got um, one of the opals and you use your eye pin, which which I, and I do show you on the DVD, don't waste the other bit you cut off because you use that to make another one. Ah, so, it's so nothing, very little is actually discarded, uh, discarded yeah. rather. Um, no. So, clock's almost up. 97 of these are available jewelry makers it's coconut skies genuine natural peruvian blue opal so a, a, a rare variety of opal natural opal that has been colored by a presence of some kind of mineral or, or, or chemical composition that transforms it to these beautiful azure blues plus the natural uh, fossil jasper we've described them as barrels and i tell you what they are enormous statement stones i totally agree with with you such, such visual it's a perfect way to describe it they're visual beauties aren't they and um, plus our newest of finding packs where you get 75 pieces in total including including the actual studs and um, we will be demoing and likewise if you've got any questions for our Alison we're live here in the studio then do message us into the studio you can text us 60777 start your text with JM studio immediately 30 of the kit have gone immediately <laughs> And I really want this kit to be one of those that we have uh, lots of, of, of new starters um, yeah. getting involved with because there's nothing to be scared of in this kit. There's nothing in jewellery making really, but it's, one of, it's not an intimidating kit.
No, it's it's not an intimidating kit at all. It's very easy to use. There's so much variety you can use, whether you're putting it all together, whether you're separating them. Um, you could take each of those each of those um, fossil uh, jasper and use them as, as as focal beads on their own. So, you know, you the Peruvian opal is to die for. I love, love Peruvian opal anyway. Yeah. So that was a real treat to get it in the kit. And then the, the amount of finding. It is it is truly a, a, a great kit, whether you're a beginner, whether you're advanced. You can take this so many ways, whether you do macrame with it, whether you do wire work with it, whether whether you're going to use it with, with your mala, whether you're going to do your knotting with it. it. It You can just go so many ways with it. Absolutely. I, and I think very much um, a multi-sex kit because a unisex kit because those Peruvian opals, like you say, the drill hole is exceedingly generous. Um, you'll certainly get over one mil. I haven't tried it, but I wouldn't be surprised if you got 1.5, if not two mil um, cord through it. So not either side of the cord and you've got an amazing, amazing, you know, choker or beach style jewellery. I like what you said about how the fact it's, you know, it, it, it's got multi functions, hasn't it? I mean, this, if you wanted to use it as something very delicate, maybe team yeah. it alongside your blue zircon that's coming up a little bit later on. I mean, look at that. You're taking it to a very, a very high end, uh, sort of elegant look. Right. Are you ready? Jewelry makers, half the stock has gone already for Coconut Sky. $24.95. So I'm just going to repeat what I said. You know, for the Peruvian, I know, for the Peruvian blue opal on its own at that price tag's amazing. For the fossil yeah. jasper on its own, that's amazing. For 75 brand new pieces um, in our findings pack, that's amazing, isn't it? Because these are all silver plated as well. Um, yeah. It's a popular, popular kit. And, and, and I just think you could go in so many different directions with it, from delicate to something quite statement and quite, um, I don't know, quite chunky, I suppose. Um, but if you're fascinated by, ch uh, by gemstones, then I think this is perfect for you because fossils, you've got, if you love gemstones, you're generally going to love your geology as well, aren't you? Generally speaking. So, I mean, you'll be fascinated by these. Almost, they almost look like little barnacle fossils, don't they? They do. They do. And like I say, the, 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 the fact that they go, I love the way the fact that they sort of blur going down the sides as you take the slice and i don't think you'll be able to see it through there but as you take as you as they've cut through it and they've cut lengthwise through some yeah. of them and it just reminds me of, of rock you know when you take that angled slice through the rock and I, they're just fascinating i mean for kids these are going to be fascinating um for 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 adults for for anybody like you say who's interested in geology in in history they're, they're just amazing pieces someone's asking about the size of the fossil jasper let me just tell you you get 480 carats and they measure 16 by 25 millimeters each the Peruvian opal, you get 68 carats, and they, there's a, a really lovely graduation from 7 millimeter up to 9 mm. millimeter. Um, your magnetic class is 6 mil. Um, findings, like I said, a mixture of your sizes, but they're pretty much the standard sizes. But yeah, up to f 25 millimeters, your fossil jaspers. So that they are big statement pieces. And yeah, and yeah we're talking jewelry, but you could actually use these even in your home adornment and decorations, couldn't you? Oh, gosh, yeah. I mean, we I know we say it a lot, and, and um, I know Mum's actually got um, her light pull with, with one of these at the end. would look amazing. Um, but I'd, I'd have them on, you know, you know when you have your book, your, your um, coffee table book, people are going to pick these up and want to talk about them. Yeah, definitely. You know, and I was going to say, if you are, if you if you make the the big necklace and wear that necklace, don't be surprised if people come up and are doing this too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a conversation starter for yeah. sure. Uh, I'm going to leave those final few of the kit with you. Again, we have demonstration. Which piece are you going to be demoing, Alison? Um, oh, sugar. It, it's the necklace I've just thrown off. It's oh, the, don't throw it. It's the big necklace. Ah, oh, lovely. So if you want to learn how to create that exact piece, then just stay with Alison and I now. Um, okay, the blue zircon that I gave you a little sneaky oh. teaser for. And Alison, you've been working with this as well. Oh, oh my yes. goodness me. Blue zircon is the most desired colour of zircon globally. Um, oh, Alison, that's stunning absolutely beautiful 
I, I often say about using gemstones like this as accents, but they're a focal accent, if you see what I mean. They really enhance your wire work. Um, using them like that, I love. But just, I mean, the, the value I got from this, from that strand on its own was incredible. So wow. I made that piece, um, that and the earrings. Oops. She's sorry. been busy. She's been very busy. And um, matching uh, earrings. Blue zircon with clarity yeah. like this and that insane uh, sort of... Uh, infamous if you like Cambodian blue that's coming up within a few moments time but right yeah. now shall we do oh now here's a color uh, number three um, here's a color that I didn't even know existed actually in diopside until very recently from in, in my head it was always okay diopside you can get black diopside um, and you can get green but actually it comes in the most beautiful canary yellow and still has those characteristics that we love about the likes of chrome you know amazing refraction beautiful internal brilliance so this was quite a, a sort of a, a new um, discovery to me totally and utterly natural glorious sunshine yellows I mean, that even surpasses that of, a, you know, the yellows that you might find in some of the finest of uh, canary sapphires, possibly. And, to and certainly rare, I would imagine. 40 carats of yellow diopside in its natural form, exquisitely faceted um, pairs. And I'm going to just hold that amazing specetite alongside it again. Hello. Look. <laughs> Do you look at look those at as those. a combination. <gasps> Oh, likewise, though. Uh, get ready. Get ready. Are you going to put it with the zircon? Yes, I've put it with the zircon. Twenty nine ninety five. We need a little bit of sun, uh, summer, don't we? Summertime. We do. Scintillation. We do. Well, there it is with refraction and brilliance. Oh, like you wouldn't believe. Right now, though, um, and to my knowledge, since this since this parcel, this has been the only parcel that we've ever purchased of yellow diopside, and that's actually in a, in in our ten years um, of actually uh, offering genuine gemstones. How many do I have of these available then, Wayne? Only thirty one of them. They're an exquisite parcel, and I know there'll be collectors and gemstone investors all around the world that who may well right now be going. I didn't know you get yellow diopside because I didn't I didn't know either but isn't it beautiful it has a radiance to it yellow is actually a very a thought to be very much a happiness inducing color um, and I think certainly these natural treasures bring you that feeling that sort of uplifting positivity hello Sue in Oxfordshire OMG overslept today uh, uh -oh. Thanks to what? Monk Jack Deer's barking for half the night. <laughs> oh, bless oh. you. Uh, nearly missed all the sterling silver. Phew, got what I needed. Oh, well done, Sue. Well done to you, Sue. We were talking about wildlife this morning, actually, in the preparations. We were talking about um, our love of wildlife. So to be able to ha hear that in the background. Incredible. Um, yeah. Um, would be would, 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 I know it's probably a bit of an inconvenience, but it's quite nice. It's better that than than traffic, isn't it? Better that than traffic. Um, moving on to this with your yellow diopside. I love this shape. Is this a new strand? It's been on our screens once. Look how much you're getting. I love it. Faceted cubes. Alison, you know me. I'm just going to say about literally stack of bracelets. Yeah. Oh, wow. Lovely. Aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. I don't think I've seen the emerald ones before. No, I haven't. I'm loving this drunk. But there's lots of oohs and ahs going on in the studio. Huh. Oh, it's luster, <laughs> luster, luster from every single one of those facets. And then the glow, that iconic glow. Mm from Brazilian Emerald. The O stands for oiling. It's not a treatment. It's basically like us putting a moisturiser on in the morning. It allows, it gives it a certain radiance, shall we say. Totally natural. I've never seen this strand before. It's only been on your screens once. How many have I got? Fifth, uh, okay, so this might well be its final uh, live show. <laughs> 54 of these available. I mean, I think with a length of 37 centimetres for Emerald of this calibre, uh, you could make three simple beaded stacker bracelets, don't you think? Oh, gosh, it would. Very easily. 
very easily. They'd look lovely. How about with some of those butterflies in it? Yes. Really look, pretty. Look. And certainly any of the sterling silver that we actually had, you know, all of those pieces look amazing. Genuine yeah. emerald. Emerald is one of, it's a very considered and highly prized and valued uh, genuine gemstone, of course, especially in its, in its natural form like this. Brazilian emerald is, is celebrated for having that really beautiful, dark, luxurious forest green. Mm. I really love that. Um, the internal patternings is often most desired, actually, within your emeralds because it helps us to decipher its locality but also it gives it each emerald an individuality don't you think these are flying out the door i knew oh, they would be popular they're stunning and again i think with a specitite garnet that's coming your way i was thinking that i'd actually put it with the sphene as well yeah oh yes amazing this is going to be a sellout auction today jewelry makers allison uh alan Sue, Caroline, Lauren, Nina, Lynn, Maureen, Lexi, uh, Sue in Oxfordshire, hello to you, Sally Ann, hello to you, Paula, um, hi, sorry, hello to you, Michelle, uh, Elaine, Teresa, Mary and Jerry, Sarah, Cheryl, uh, Tyne and Ware, Monica, Duchess, hello to you, Helen, Oxfordshire, I can't keep up with you all now, we only had 54, I love these little faceted cubes, and we've, I've seen them in different gemstones, first time I've actually seen them in the emeralds, but what they do in terms of surface luster as well, I just think it's incredible absolutely stunning and it is that luster with those facets i don't think i've seen them with with the small diamond facets on and they look no. amazing yeah beautiful absolutely so what are you going to do with yours then alison um i i'm gonna um i actually really fancy doing a bubble style bracelet with it <gasps> yes i think it would look amazing that that would be amazing i've got four of these left i'll tell you what else it'll go with the mosaic yeah oh yes yes why did i not think of that the big ones right the daddy the mummy or the baby um well you could put it with all of them but i think i'd go with the baby if i was interspersing them um oh i don't know i like let's it. hold like... it with the daddy yeah let's go with the big daddy they're gorgeous there it is Alongside the big daddy uh, mosaic, abalone mosaic beads. They're beautiful. coming up. Yeah, beautiful. Really beautiful. Um, it's sold out. Well done. Okay. Ooh, this would be beautiful with your emerald. This would be stunning. I don't know why it's made prompted me straight away to whisper, but <laughs> I think it's just got this beautiful serenity and I, I look at i look at pre night also known as uh, as green amethyst and i think straight away about i don't know newborns rejuvenation <laughs> spring it's you know yeah. it's, it does it's, it's just all fresh and brand new and totally natural beautiful isn't it and it's I... also less than 10 pounds i've got 29 wow. it I, is I... beautiful it, it is, and, and, they're, and they're really big for pre-night, aren't they? Yeah, pre-night. With pre-night, by the way, um, you can get completely translucent pre-night. They often have this really lovely, soft spring green. But you can also get pre-night, which has some quite dramatic inclusions. Um, yeah. They're often black, a little bit like black rutile inclusions, and they are very desirable like so. Um, so you use it in, alongside your Marla necklaces. I mean, I'd maybe <laughs> use maybe, um, with this strand, if I bought three of them, something like a black agate as your guru <laughs> beads to contrast and really accentuate those patterns, internal patterns. It's totally natural. It's just got this instantaneous tranquility, I think, when I look at pre-night. Um, a gemstone which, um, I said, well, did I say green amethyst earlier on as well? I did, didn't I? It's not green amethyst. Pre-night is totally different. It, it's often referred to um, or, or compared to the likes of jade as well, because they've got that wonderful yeah. serenity in their appearance. Seven ninety-five only. I've just realised I said that. Angela, hello to you. Jacqueline, Maureen, Cheryl, Susan, multi-buyers, new customers. Make sure you check out. There was only twenty-nine of these. And again, Alison, I'm going to yeah. hold it against your beautiful abalone mosaic beads to be honest i could do this the whole show because there's not many colors that's not included in abalone so it's no. going to pick out all of those shades it is and whatever color you put it with that's going to be the prominent one you see yeah very clever beautiful i love that, that pre-night it oh, would go beautifully with that uh, moving on to 
<gasps> now this caught my attention. Have a look on Astley Clark if you want a little bit of inspiration. Simple, my, I think they're about two or three millimeters, the gemstones that they use. I know they use this gemstone in one of their designs. It's about 120 pound for the bracelet. With some sterling silver. Let's just say, hang on. I could make at least two, probably more. Um, in those simple kind of stacker style bracelets, look at the quality of this lapis lazuli. It is glowing with electric blue. That is the oh, I've just I've just heard what it's going to, Alison. It's crazy low. Oh, you're crazy. joking! Look at that. <sighs> Only 64 of this strand available. Glowing wow. electric natural lapis lazuli, 7.95. Micro faceting is the cut of 2019, and it's more than likely going to be the cut of 2020. Um, because you know what? Just because they're small doesn't mean they can't maintain and hold that intensity of colour. Um, but it brings much more than that because you have every single one of those facets bringing you lustre. I'm holding it against the specotype that's coming up in the next hour. Just beautiful, beautiful quality. Um, yep. Those together. I mean, ha we, a, a micro-faceted gem mm -hmm. is not... It's it's not we shouldn't be fearful of them. Even though they're two millimetres in their size, they're very easy to work with, aren't they? Absolutely. I mean, you've already seen it, what I did with the zircon, doing it like that, um, using them, using them just as just as um, accents, you know, just just as connectors, but actually in a right of the, you know, as their own right. So, so I've used them as sort of a focal part with with the drops below. You can do so much with yeah. them. You know, and, and we saw the lady who did the, the rosary linking on the Wall of Fame. Yes. You can, she'd used um, uh, bicones, but you could use genuine gemstones, and they make the most gorgeous, delicate um, chains. I and, mean, and, go on. I, I totally agree with you. You're actually using them as a most technically spacer, but they bring so much more because of their glow, yeah. that, I mean, especially when they're of this incredible quality. Hiya, Mikey. Good morning, all. I've got this strand of lapis. The colour and sparkle is lush. I could it's not it. put it better. It and is it, lush. Oh. It's that wonderful, rich opulence that you see with quality lapis lazuli. Has it sold out? On the verge of? And, right and when you see Mikey's juicy, the way he uses the smaller gemstones with the big gemstones, this would be perfect with it. Yeah, amazing. I can't wait to see that. And, and alongside your kit as well with the Peruvian blue. Beautiful with the Peruvian blue. It would go great. You can, you can bubble style it. You can tassel it. You can beady bead with it. So make a bigger bead out of the smaller beads. Um, I'd use this sort of strand, you know, when I did um, uh, the shoes for Jenny. Yes. So I'd use those on shoes. You can, you, you know, you can use these so many places. Use them with your seed beads. Well, that's it. I've, they go such a long way, don't they? Alongside your shibori silk, your soutache. Yeah. Absolutely. 7.95 for a 39 centimetre strand of absolutely exquisite. Oh, here's your shoes, Alison, the ones you did for Jenny. Yeah. So, so we they were actually... emeralds, but they're a similar sort of size. Yeah. So you're talking about maybe attaching them to the wire work yep. in the wire same way that you've done here. Yeah. Aren't you clever? Uh, massively <laughs> over allocated on those. Um, 50 in baskets for the final five. Wow. Not well surprised. done, well done, well done. Okay, jewelry makers, it is time for that zircon strand. Be prepared mm -hmm. to be completely and utterly dazzled. The, the world uh, most desirable colour of zircon is this beautiful exotic blue. However, Mother Nature keeps those offerings very, very close to her chest, making it not only one of the most sought after, but one of the most rare. Up next, this star buy again is going to be a sellout with all of its brilliance and refraction, with its rarity of colour, it's a star buy.
Now, I have 76 of these available in the world, and I, and I genuinely believe that every single one of these is going to go in the next yeah. few minutes because I can't remember the last time I saw Ratnakiri Blue. It doesn't, it doesn't come around very... I'm not saying never, but it doesn't come around very often. No. Can I just ask producer Wayne a question? Wayne, can you tell me the locality? Uh-huh. So I think this is from the deposit that takes hours to get to, that literally is off a beaten track. Um, and the reason why they go to such efforts to, to actually unearth this gemstone is because when they go to this mine, what is unearthed is literally unrivaled quality. You can understand every single ounce of effort that those miners actually put into unearthing these incredible treasures. Undoubtedly, un undoubtedly sorry, I struggled to say the word then, the most brilliant of all gemstones, and what I mean by that is its performance of light internally with higher refraction than a sapphire, than a tanzanite or a spinel. A natural forming mineral called zirconium is found in a range of colours, but blue is without doubt the most commercially desired. Please do not misinterpret zircon for zirconia, um, cubic zirconia. This is a natural gemstone that is a man-made gemstone. Now, we can take zircon in its natural form, which more often than not actually comes out of the ground either colourless or maybe with a slight amount of sort of blue tones within. And with gentle heating, they can actually produce this most exquisite celeste blue. But not all examples would actually have that capability. Um, premium colours like this are produced due to a very rare physical structure within the zircon. And that is why blue zircon comes from only a, a certain few locations in the world. Usually that is Cambodia or, or Burma itself. You are about to purchase one of the finest strands of blue zircon I've ever seen at one of the lowest prices that I've ever seen it at. I launched this gemstone on what was once our USA channel. And do you know what? I've never, I've never been able to say this before about any single collection. There was not, you imagine we had a hundred of this design, a hundred of that design, a hundred of this design. Every single piece sold out. That is the popularity of Blue Zircon. 60 seconds starts now. There are 76 of this strand available. And Wayne, can I just confirm that is what you're taking it to? That's crazy low. For this level of quality, take my word for it, jewelry makers, this is going to be probably the most affordable. I, th I think I, I can almost say that with absolute certainty. The most affordable quality blue zircon strand. Now, when I was talking about naturally brilliant, natural brilliance, it's a gemstone that has double refraction. So if you were to look at a diamond, you get you, the, the aim is to get fire and scintillation. There's beautiful spectrums of light from, uh, from every single facet. But a zircon can produce that twice over because when white light enters into the gemstone it doesn't just produce fire it splits that white light and produces double the fire that's why it is such a high performer even as we're looking on this image right now look to the back of the screen and you see that fire out of focus that is the performance that this gemstone offers and it just cannot cannot be tamed 76 of these available I mean look at that celeste heavenly blue the world's most commercially desired color of this gemstone gemstone and actually one of the rarest colors to actually get in any natural gemstone graphics alive there's your call to action and well done to those of you on the phone lines and the web 10 have gone in a heartbeat but I, I mean I'm not saying I haven't brought you zircon at all here at jewelry maker I have but there are very few opportunities of blue zircon especially at this star by price Sue Melissa hello to you uh, Bristol Lynn Alan Lane you're there as well this is us tiptoeing our way towards your star by price I expect them to all go not only is it some of the most exquisitely internally I clean with the perfect amount of of those Cambodian blues it's super affordable 
This yeah. could well be actually an admin error. I mean, Alison, you've been working with this gem, uh, with this strand. We sent this to you. What it's a treat! What what a treat indeed! Mm -hmm. I made five pieces of jewellery using this strand, and I still wow. had some left over. So you know, even get, just going from, I've used three in there, and 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 they're just lovely. I just oh, that's lovely. I, absolutely adore them yeah beautiful um, with the matching with the matching earrings hang on they might fall off because so you've got the matching oh. earrings you know six more stones in there but they they really pack they're, they're powerful they're lovely you can see that blue well they're you just look, gorgeous you, you look at it initially blue zircon and you think oh that's a very soft almost glacial blue yeah. but actually it's one of those gemstones that when you do separate each of those stones they still look at this amazing so yeah great idea they but, still maintain um that intensity don't they and that beautiful amount of fire so they'd be lovely alongside your specitite garnet that's coming yeah. your way not stopping Please. here jury makers are you are you ready you're not stopping there. No, that wasn't our, our star by price. Alison, I mean it. I think this is going to be one of the most, one of, if not the most affordable blue zircon strand I've ever brought to air here at Jewelry Maker. Yes. When have you ever seen it? Twenty-one ninety-five. <laughs> I know. So, so I would probably want to charge that for that necklace alone. Mm-hmm. And I've used what did I say? Three in there, plus plus the chain. Well, the chain was. Five pounds something this morning. Five twenty-five. Five twenty-five. You might have to buy two because you'd, you'd want to chop it up, chop yeah. one up for, for bits for that and the earrings. So, so for that and the earrings, you'd you, you'd be looking nearer the original price. Well, and, and that is amazing to get be getting blue zirc. I always say tell Alison he she should up her prices. By the way. <laughs> Because her jewellery is exquisite. And look at the gemstones that we're working with. I had 76. Surrey, Karen. How many have gone? Wow. Oh, 20 in baskets. Over half the stock has gone. We have people on the phone lines as well. It is going to be an on-screen seller. And to be honest, it is far too beautiful to be sat within our vault. Especially with the summer months. Because you imagine wearing this gemstone. It looks exquisite in, in our light box just here. It looks amazing in the studio. But you take zircon, blue zircon, celeste heavenly blue zircon into the sunshine. And then, oh my God goodness it sings from the very rooftops i mean it's one of if, if i was to put blue zircon next to maybe your sky blue topaz or maybe your aquamarine zircon would outperform because it actually has more fire and scintillation than both of those gemstones um yeah just like a really simple tennis star bracelet like this Ooh, so so exquisite we love wayne <laughs> we do we do we do we do love him we do. He's got a poorly foot, Sue. Aww. A poorly, poorly foot. He's hobbling around, bless him. And he's, I think he's going to blame that um, the prices on his foot today, because people can't can't shout at him then, can we? Um, hello <laughs> to you, Judith. Hello, Liz. Hello to you, Leah, Janice, Molly, Sandra, Michelle, Karen, uh, Tracy, Catherine, K Jenny, Devon, Karen. Hello to you, West Midland, Shirley. Hello to you, Wanda, Christine, Elaine. I can't say hello to everyone, but well done. It's on the verge of selling out. Absolutely incredible. And a gemstone that we're looking amazing alongside your specitite garnet. Yeah. Unreal with your sphen, another fiery gemstone. Um, incredible with with your back in stock by very popular demand abalone mosaic beads yeah i mean i could go on could go on right moving on to incredible with this it's that strand how on earth have we got any of these left how many oh we bought two separate strands wayne knew straight away what i was talking about then because there was this is this is topaz right when have you what what cut have you seen white topaz in before? Rondells, Alison. I've never seen them in this before. If this is the strand you've got in your hand, Alison. <laughs> I know briolette white topaz. I've seen one strand like this before. It's yeah. sold out literally on the back of that statement. This is the only other strand that we have like it at the moment. Normally, the white topaz are micro faceted, aren't they? They're, they're absolutely incredible. Look at the size of these. I know. 
Alison, you have been well and truly spoilt rotten. Oh, oh, I know, I know. I mean, with the, with the zircon as well, they look beautiful. <gasps> Amazing. Absolutely just... stunning. But I, I, I think my favourite, this is, this for such a simple make, this is one of my favourite makes for ages. Just, just the pendant oh. and earrings, just class, class, class. I can imagine, you know, someone wearing that um on the red carpet i could imagine that Definitely. being down the back instead of the front as yeah, well yeah a cascade white yeah. topaz naturally brilliant forming gemstone look exquisite alongside your white uh, uh, alongside your blue zircon maybe alongside your specitite garnet a garnet absolutely alongside your your sphene that we've got coming up jewelry makers so this is we sold out of this the first time that we actually saw white topaz in briolette cuts which which kind of surprised me because i was like actually why haven't i seen white topaz in 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 briolettes before why are they always in the sort of two mil size um i can't answer that question in all honesty um maybe probably cost it's down to the, the cost of the gemstone the material itself because these are absolutely flawless in terms of their clarity and we're at 30 pardon right Wayne literally into L, 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 L. That's nowhere near your price. Oh, gosh. If you're thinking, Al, you, surely you knew these were what, what they were going to. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. My sheets don't include this, jewelry makers. I did not know that white topaz. Um, 85 of these are available. I cannot fathom any rhyme or reason for 11.95 for these. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know. Look, look, at, look at how flawless the clarity on each of these briolette drops are, which we were discussing on Thursday, Alison, is actually yeah. one of the most challenging cuts of gemstones because it's 360 yeah. degrees. Ab absolutely. And they're such exquisite, they're, they're so exquisitely done. And that, to me, they're, they're, like, they're like diamond drops. Yeah. <laughs> The performance you get in with those and the, and the zircon together are stunning. But even on their own, even without the zircon, they're just beautiful. Absolutely well, stunning. Well, we normally say um, for jewellery makers, our go-to colourless gemstone will be a clear quartz, right? That's what yeah. we normally say. We don't normally reference white topaz because the ones that we, we don't oh. see it very often. And when we do, they tend to be more your microfaceted size. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. These are like beautiful, uh, flawless, colourless gemstones that are completely yeah. natural in one of the most challenging of cuts. Eleven yeah. ninety five is ridiculous. I can't believe that price tag. We had 85 of these. Oh, OK. We had 85. 50 have gone. Um, again, all around the world. Hello, Erica over in USA. Hello to you, June Ann. Hello to you, Melissa, Shirley, Lynn, Maureen, Karen, Christina, uh, Susan, Jenny, Judith. Hello to you, Gwent. Hello to you, Jacqueline. Hello to you, Lexi, uh, Tyne and Ware, Bristol, Sharon, G uh, Georgina, sorry, uh, Leah, Veronica, Stephanie, Cambridgeshire, Elaine, Karen. And Molly I mean these are there's a lot of familiar names that I'm, I'm looking mm. at here what do you think what do you think they know that I'll tell you what they know a they can see how beautiful it is and how amazing that deal is but B they know that this doesn't happen on jewelry maker very often they know that we don't get the briolette drops that frequently other than the strand that we sold out what was it was it last week Wayne or was it the week before last week I haven't seen them I have no. not seen briolette drops of you, Alison. No, I, no, I haven't, because that was the first time I'd ever seen them. Because I think they're absolutely phenomenal, and the quality—you've got the topaz, so you've got the the, the robustness of a topaz gemstone. Yeah, it's a durable quite, gem. Quite a, a durable gemstone, you know. Chandelier earrings. Mm. Look at the way the lights pick them up, and that's in that's in the artificial lights. You know, the reflection on your hand—they're going to sparkle. You know, if you make cluster earrings, chandelier earrings, you know, use them um, use them as a, a I, I did, I almost did, um, a, you know, like an illusion necklace, only having drops on it. So you've just got this load of teardrops around your neck. Oh. That as well would be stunning. 
I mean, it's, it's, it's bridal, isn't it, almost? Perfectly oh, bridal yeah. and, and beyond, to be truthful. Yeah. Red carpet. Over-allocated. Well done, everybody. Mm. Lots of items selling out today. And that is not going to be any different. No. Um, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. Oh, this. Totally different. I like yeah. this. Like, this is the kind of thing that I would literally wear on a daily basis. I love love to sight. Um, very powerful gemstone. It's believed. It's got lots of uh, myths and legends as associated it because when you look at a Peter sight, many people see this stormy sky. Like a, if you can imagine like a twister or... Um, a typhoon um, from, from a satellite image um, often has a, a level of chatoyancy to it as well and totally natural colours it can be so expensive Peter site as a gemstone um, and I love I'll, it'll always stay so firmly close to the front of my memory this Peter site is one of those gemstones and this is literally beliefs we can't say it's scientifically proven obviously but they believe that Peter site will see you through uh, difficult times through the stormy times um, because of those wonderful patterns. Can you see the connection? Yeah. Uh, 59.95 only. Not today, however. You get different colours in Peter's site. You can get reds, you can get a dominance of blues, and you can get a mixture of everything in between. It's beautiful. It's honestly usually very expensive. Peter's site I put with like malachite and... Um, gemstones you know like like malik i'm trying to think of others now the the, the the more the more considered investment opaque gemstones i would literally turn this into a, a couple of stretchy bracelets what do you think alison for peter site uh, well i i think wow i i think that's amazing because i i've got um i was lucky enough to get some peter site uh, and I, I actually happen to have this on my desk so um cabochons and i need that strand to make a necklace to go with the cabochon I'd get adding then. Yes. I'd get adding sooner rather than later. We don't see Peter Sight that frequently. Um, yeah, if you, if you, there's lots of different uh, videos on YouTube about the beliefs attached to this gemstone. Um, most of them will actually talk about how they believe it will actually carry you through difficult times. Um, yeah, so, which is lovely, isn't it? And it's a totally natural, genuine gemstone that has yep. these beautiful, this element of chaos internally. And, and 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 you come back to you come back to to the, the mindfulness the the just because gifts if you take that and make a couple of stretches from it for your friends to get you through your tough times you know like that lady who was going to make something yeah. on, on the wall of fame or message um for for a friend who's going through a tough time what a perfect way this gemstone said to help you through a tough time and just that sentiment and that thoughtfulness mm. It's going to boost anybody. It totally is. And I, th I think, you know, the world has been, has definitely had one of those turbulent times. So um, very, we can all relate to it, can't we? Don't go anywhere, the jewelry jewel makers, though, because you're stunning. Oh, can I get one more in? Your stunning demonstrations with our lovely Alison is coming up um, literally after one auction's time. Uh, right now. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty, pretty, pretty strand of chrysophrase. <gasps> Love it. This is a considered, considered gemstone. What? Twenty-seven ninety-five. Oh, look at that. No way near. Wayne says. There's only forty-one. You get a level of transparency oh. to this gemstone. It glows from the inside out. It's actually become, I believe, on our sister channel, one of their top-selling gemstones at the moment. A chrysophrase. It, it has this wonderful. I don't know, like, it, it, it's everything that, for me, an imperial jade aspires to have. That glowing presence. Yeah. And never yeah. in a million years should we bring in it at £12.95. Again, mm -hmm. I know that uh, some of our colleagues on our sister channel would probably be absolutely nodding their head with approval on that. £12.95. Um, do, you, do you own um, Price of Phrase, Alison? I have got some. I haven't got the microfaceted. I can't believe the price of that. You know, you're back to making your stacker bracelets. Amazing. Using it as spaces. It's a stunning, stunning stone. It would go absolutely brilliantly with a lot of the strands we've brought today. Yeah, beautiful. With like the Ratnakiri blue and uh, the specetite that's coming up. Your mosaic uh, abalone that's coming yeah. up. Your sphene that's coming up. Oh, yes. Oh, and, and the... Um, uh, the rough stone, the, the rough strand we've got coming up. 
go beautifully with that as well. It's just stunning. I love that. But I, I'm a fan of the smaller gemstones. I love the micro faceted. I love the two mil, the three mil, the four mil gemstones. That's just beautiful. Stunning natural price, Australian price of phrase. Amazing, amazing price tag. Um, I mean, that's a huge collector's opportunity. That is their jewelry makers. Right, Alison, we're going to uh, join you on your wonderful demo, but you're staying with us, aren't you, for the live I show? Um, amazing, because we've literally, we've bombarded Alison with all these incredible treasures today, so we need to keep keep you with us. Um, but <laughs> up next, you're demoing that beautiful statement necklace. Yeah. From yeah. the kit that is Coconut Skies. Um, yeah. I believe you can still just about get that. We'll pop the graphics at the bottom of the screen so you can make your, uh, your confirmations, etc. Um, so join Alison with a demonstration of this amazing piece. Alison, thank you so much. In a bit. We'll be seeing you in a minute. Bless her heart. Um, so, um, whilst we're actually just cutting to that, this is what's coming up now. That specitite garnet strand that I've been teasing you with is coming up in the 10 o'clock hour. The back in stock abalone mosaic collections, most desired collections, are coming up in the next hour alongside further abalone goodies. And in the 11 o'clock hour, we've got a double deal of the day with your sphene and a mega auction on your chrome diopside round brilliant cut solitaire. So honestly, it is a show not to miss. But are you ready? Let's join our lovely Alison for that beautiful necklace. This demonstration we're going to make this stunningly um, statement necklace these fossil agate are absolutely beyond this world I absolutely fall, fell in love with these now these uses so this this is achievable by all it's using basic jewelry making techniques but it just shows you don't have to be complicated to get a statement look so we're going to start off creating this main section here um, and what we're going to use during this uh, technique, we've used five of the um, statement, uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure what shape to call them, I'm going to call them tubes. Um, we've got two pieces of the chain, All nothing in this has come from outside of the kit, so everything you want is here. Um, then the, oh, the Peruvian blue um, opal, stunning. So we want 12 of those and I've used um, a couple of drops as you can see um, and the others to extend up the chain. We've got some of our findings and I've even used the other parts of the findings which I'll go through in a bit to extend the kit further. So we also need um, bail making pliers all round nose, whichever you prefer. Um, because we make a couple of extra jump rings, some uh, cutters. Essential is your um, crimp bead pliers. Then we've got some round nose pliers and some chain nose or flat nose, either or doesn't matter. Okay, so let's get cracking. So your strand comes on a thread, um, a knotted thread. Each one is individually knotted so they don't bash against each other. Um, and all you have to do is snip off on either side of those knots and pull the thread. You might find a little bit left there, just make sure you pull that out. So separate all of your um, beads. Now I, I picked, so I've kind of put them into pairs. And uh, I mean, look at it, look at it. It's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Can you see all these um, markings? You actually see this going all the way through. Doesn't it remind you of rock when you slice, when you see it being made and you slice it? Absolutely fascinated to think that these were creatures. Amazing, amazing piece. So I want, I'm going to put them in pairs. You can arrange them how you like. Okay, and then I, I've got one of the jump rings and some beading thread which um, isn't in the kit but you must all have a stash of beading thread always useful to have i'm going to pop that a piece of beading thread now we're going to start at the jump ring at the bottom i'm just going to put that chain out of the way so i'm going to pop the jump ring on you want to make sure it's closed and then obviously the drill holes in these are super, super uh, sized. So you can easily get your two strands, your two ends of your beading thread through and pull it down. So that gives you the attachment in the bottom to pop your two opals on. Then we're going to go for two of the smaller opals 
when when I say smaller I mean smaller not small because <laughs> none of these are small it's stunning stunning stones so I'm going to pop those two on there slide them down and then one each of the big beads there's a little bit of the threading material then another two of your opal so basically using your opal as spaces almost which is amazing these are good i love the different colors and you you'll see something different every time you look at them um some are very subtle but it's still there the markings are still there and some are, obviously that one is very very um obvious so we're going to pop that one through there now to to distinguish at the top what i've done and turn that around as you can see is we've got a couple of beads well they're not they're crimp bead covers so although one's holding where i've crimped the other one is literally just being used as a bead so use your crimp um pliers and you'll see you've got one um which has got a little tongue sticking out and a semicircle that's to to crimp your beads and the other one is sort of a little almost eye shape so we're going to pop the bead in there and squidge it closed now these are really really good crimp bead covers so we're going to squidge that down take your time i've brushed that one a bit turn them round a bit and you'll get as you work it round you'll get a nice round bead but you still get that hole through the middle so you can then slide that through there we go pop that on you do have some um spacer beads in the findings pack which are really really fantastic findings pack with this kit but they're 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 um small ones so they're just going to go straight through these big beads so then we're going to pop another one of the opal on and now we want to crimp this shut so we're going to crimp we're going to attach it straight to the chain i've got two lengths you can make them as long as you want um, i used the whole chain so it was what i had left um which is about four or five inches so this is going to be a higher um piece you can make a long one but i made a lariat style with another one so get that off you want your crimp bead which are these little tubes if you've not seen them before they make great beads remember the important thing about this is it the word bead they, they can be used as a bead but as a crimp they secure your beading thread so i'm going to pop it through the chain and then back through the bead and pull that down okay not you don't want it 100 percent shut because that will cause you need a little bit of a gap there now we're going to take this one with the tongue and crimp that down and you'll see you'll get a little bit of a, a c forming and your let me turn this over and your thread can you see in the center where you've got that dimple you then turn it round and you're going to move that eye shaped one and you're going to fold that basically over again and go round and you create a tube out of that crimp tube so you're creating another tube effectively trim your thread make sure you're cutting the right one do it that way okay then we're going to put the crimp cover on top so it sits inside the bead there we go and then you close up that bead and close it up squidge it down and get your bead on there sorted so that covers your crimp bead now what i've done on the other side on this this i've actually done is use these beads which i forgot so i've popped them on the eye pins eye pins in a kit wow bend the top over get you around those pliers so you've got two alternatives now with this design okay you want to try and keep the two holes so they're about the same size so think on your round nose pliers or put this on a baling pliers and pick which side you want these are hardened um metal so they're harder than the normal wire so you can just do a loop and it will hold so i'm going to shut that and then you would attach this instead of the chain so we'd crimp that to the thread and then just attach another one to there um, and then with the ends you've cut off 
we're going to use the baling pliers to create some extra jump rings because I hate waste. Just taking it round there. Now I'm going to go all the way round pushing that down. And I've now made myself another extra couple of jump rings. And these I have used my pliers to attach the chain to the clasp. The magnetic clasp is amazing. Okay. So you do that as I can as you can see the magnetic clasp is fantastic. So you do that with both sides in whichever style either straight chain or creating the links depending on how you want to use them. So I've then made a little dropper on this one out of two of the graduated one of the bigger and one of the smaller blue opals and I've popped them on the um, featherweight head pins pop your pliers in turn it over 90 degrees twist your pliers round and then fetch that wire all the way around so that you've got your loop pop your pliers back in wrap around three times and then you've got a nice wrapped loop before you wrap it round unwind there we go it's just like live TV pop your other bead on pop it in wind it round three times trim off attach that to your jump ring now be careful where you're opening your jump ring that the open and shut is not near that thread because you don't want to pull it out so pop that on your jump ring make sure you close it properly there we go and there is your necklace obviously do the both sides so you can either have a side with just a chain that's a variation for you or you can have it with the with the links i like it with the links going up and there you go <laughs>
purely mother nature. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Thesatite Garnet. It is insanely beautiful and it is known as one of the top rare four in the Garnet family, sitting perfectly alongside Zavarite, Demantoid and your colour change. These are some of the most important and influential of all coloured gemstones, not just garnets. With a combined hardness and exceptional brilliance, plus the fact that all of your garnets are almost always completely natural, this most certainly is, it makes it a hugely exciting gemstone to all collectors and connoisseurs. First discovered in Spessart, uh, Bavaria in Germany in the 1800s, and the most valuable trait, the most valuable offerings that you can see in a specitite garnet is colour. And in particular, the bright orange stroke red, because you get a flash of red mm -hmm. coming through. Mandarin orange with a pure saturation, it couldn't be any purer than what's on your screens right now, is by far the most desired um, and it exceeds many, many, many others in terms of value. We only have 45 of these available, but I mean, 45 very lucky collectors. We're going to do clock to graphic, 60 seconds. We'll get the clock rocking. That is your call to action. I mean, I have, I have a, I've got a couple of gemologist friends and I've spoken to, so, to, to, spoken to them both about Specitite in particular. Um, and they share my love for this gemstone. It's just alive with energy. I mean, uh, oh, Alison, that's beautiful. Wearing <laughs> it around the decolletage, which it's going to influence from all of the wonderful sunlight. Um, they radiate, don't they? Oh, they still do. And they're just amazing. I mean, whether because I kind of ran out of time because I got sent so many goodies, but I was also going to do a, a waterfall um, drop earrings. They look mm. amazing. The, 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 they're like the hottest fiery sunset or sunrise. Oh, yes. And they just exude presence, don't they? I just love them. To my kind of gemstone. Right, mine, right. Too. mine too. Mine too. There's just such a presence about them, which yeah. is completely Mother Nature's doing. One of the rare four um, garnets. Unfortunately, 45. That's it. And to be honest, we're lucky to have Specitite at all. Again, I, the last time I actually saw a brand new Specitite strand was actually on our birthday last year. Not even 2020. 20 carats that you're getting of this beautiful treasure. Um, now, interestingly, I'm looking at the bottom of the screen just to see yeah, Tanzania. So I know that this is this is what we refer to in the industry as the African secret. The reason why we call it the African secret is the exact location, the precise location of this gemstone is very much a closely guarded secret. I mean, you think about the heat of the Serengeti and you know uh, all those uh, th those sort of localities. Nowhere is pinpointed in terms of specitite mines because they 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 know that if that's revealed, then it will literally be flooded with gem investors um, and of course dealers and then it'll be completely exhausted overnight almost. Specitite is a rare, rare, rare treasure that is naturally forming and you can see the heat and the warmth of the location within the gemstone itself. I mean, I mean, listen, you know we like diamonds, rubies, emeralds, all of those ones. Listen, love them all. Don't get me wrong. I love, love, love them all. But if we're driven solely by beauty and rarity, then Specitite Garnet for me is an absolute front runner because yeah. it, it just, you can't take your eyes off it. The brilliance that you get from every single one of those facets in this gemstone's natural high refraction. Uh, Specitite actually has one of the highest refractions of all your garnets, um, but it just glows. Radiates is the word that I keep wanting to say. Let's yeah. start chipping our way towards your star by price tag. 45 of you, and I would very much like to join you on this one, are yeah. going to be successful. No um, more, no less. That's wow. it. That's all we have. I couldn't put together a showcase of this gemstone. No. It's Just, not often that we see specitite garnet in finished pieces of jewellery, let alone an entire parcel like what you're getting. Not $99.95. Shall we half that price tag, jewellery makers, for you today? Oh, my gosh. I know. 
I know, I know, I know. Oh Imagine those clusters. Imagine these with something like South Sea pearls. Imagine these with maybe your abalone mosaic beads that we've got coming up. That's yeah. insane for Specitite Garnet. This is totally and utterly natural. Yeah. One of the big four rare garnets in the world. And the prices per carats are normally astronomically high and deservedly so, Alison. Do you agree? Oh, I, I agree. I mean, I was expecting this strand to be like 75.95 or, or 74.95, you know, just to keep it under that price. I, I was not expecting it to be under 50. No, 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 no. It, the quality of this stone, like you say, the red you're getting from it is is new to me as well because this is this is better quality than what I've seen before. It's stunning. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and it's that. Incredible. Oh. That pure mandarin orange is what this, I've just put it next to some chrome because I think they'd be gorgeous together. Um, but yeah, that pure mandarin yeah. orange uh, colour with flashes of red is the most sought after and can be massively expensive. Um, so I don't quite know how this is even possible, but it is happening. Jewelry <laughs> makers, if there's a single one of these strands left, I am definitely joining you on it. And for me, Alison, little wrap loops, little cascade, and I'd, yeah. I'd go all out. I think I'd put them all into a pair of earrings this, this entire strand well, that would be amazing wouldn't it that would be absolutely incredible oh beautiful half the stock has gone already those of you with any baskets you're gonna have to check out wow and um, we have got people on the phone lines. i can see you being answered as well thank you for your patience uh so suzanne surrey uh, stephanie judith essex well done multi-buying victoria k gloucestershire well done Chew. karen multi-buying well done lauren you've got yours i've got june jacqueline jan in torvine angela and lynn there's nothing more delicious than a genuine specitite look how it dances and plays with the light it, it, it's stunning and can i add something for for that's quite important for usage because people often get worried about gemstones like this 0 0.4 went through the gemstones really so your uh, wire uh, yeah absolutely so I, I i thought i was gonna have to go to a 0 0.25 but 0 0.4 went through fine so, I mean, Alison, that gives us, it's going to go on to our flex, right? Yeah. It's going to absolutely. go on to all our beading threads. It's going to go yeah. to all our, uh, so the, the 0 0.4, uh, 0 0.25 of your gauges yeah. of wire as well. I mean, I, I, again, I remember bringing, launching, um, like I did with the Ratnakiri Blue Zirk, and I launched the, uh, the African Secret Specitite Garnet Deposit that was discovered by Gemporia some time ago, some years ago. Every single piece, again, they, they literally flew out the door. Um, and I can totally see why because it is such it's a it's a positive gem uh, a positive color yeah. firstly but it's such an inviting gem as well it, it is it is isn't it it's, it's along the lines of the yellow gemstones it's a warming gemstone it draws you in it's so gorgeous and completely and natural yeah completely that, that mind um, I'm going to leave the final few, and I do mean single-figure quantities there, jewellery makers. Don't hesitate on that one because I can't. I, I don't know when the next specitite will be. I shouldn't imagine it's going to be any time soon. Right then, from a gemstone that we seldom ever see, specitite mm -hmm. garnet, to one, again, that we seldom see, but when you did see uh, for the very first time um, this amazing design, they flew out the door and they sold out, and it's taken a good couple of years, I believe, to actually get them back into stock um, I presented them on on jewelry maker and it's it was probably the first time that the entire crew during the live show all made a purchase I'm not kidding actually with my credit card <laughs> um, they were like can I get some on there and, like, and they did and, and I don't blame them for that either at all um, they did have my permission but they sold out and it's taken us almost two years to get them back into stock beautiful works of art with the treasure of the seas, star by abalone mosaic, be mosaic beads up next. Now, um, three mosaic bead strands in the three big, big, big sizes that you 
absolutely adored two years ago and it's taken us that long approximately to get them back into stock and when we admire each and every single one of these feature works of art you can totally understand why it's taken that long to actually uh, to actually bring them back abalone is a gemstone that is created by the sea herself and it's a fusion of blues and greens uh, each shell embodies a unique display um, of colors and markings almost like our own fingerprints no two piece will be the same but when you look at abalone maybe in its natural habitat um, it is actually quite an unassuming uh, mollusk that can be covered with crustaceans etc and it doesn't it doesn't look that appealing no, it's certainly not something that you would include in your jewelry until you see the internal uh, shell and the array of colors and that exquisite iridescence. Considered actually a delicacy the work in many locations around the world, um, abalone is actually a gastropod, a member of the mollusk family and a type of sea creature. But they, we eat, uh, well, certain uh, cultures, I should say, actually eat the, the, the actual food itself. Um, and then they use the shell for actual adornment and have done for hundreds of years. Understandably so, because, I mean, look how radiant each work of art is. They, they are natural, little individual pieces that have been jigsawed together to produce this amazing orb of beauty. Once on land, every single shell will be hand buffed, cut by experts who understand the natural curves and patterns of this gemstone, ensuring to maintain optimum spectrums and all of these beautiful colors and of course that wonderful iconic chromatic shift that you get across the surface of an abalone shell. And what I mean by that is where light almost seems to migrate across. But we've gone beyond that and actually taken the best pieces, little individual squares, little picture frames. Um, we faceted those and then put it together in these beautiful spherical beads, coated them by a clear resin to actually, to protect the abalone and obviously make it comfortable to wear. Concentric rings, can you see those little ring patterns within your abalone shells? That actually is evidence of a change in diet within the actual uh, crustacean itself. So when it changes and starts eating different types of seaweed, that's what causes those concentric rings within the gemstone itself. This treasure has been adored, like I said, for hundreds of years. Uh, the Maori people of New Zealand called abalone uh, paua, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, um, and it can be found in their coastal, uh, coastal waters. The Maori people used this shell um, in warrior artwork, and they would use it as the eyes, as they believed that this was um, the strength within the warrior and also of other demigod figures. It's treasured, it's beautiful, and these have been a massive, massive hit with our jewellery maker customers over, um, well, it was two years ago that these were actually first launched, and they are back by very, very popular demand. Now, we're going to start with the big 20 millimeter mosaic abalone beads. I've only got 98, so let's get that 60 second clock rocking, shall we, jewelry makers? Totally and utterly natural. I mean, again, I said we sent these to Ab uh, to Alison. And mm -hmm. I've worked with these as well. Um, they are super, super, super simple. Um, they've got a nice, generous drill hole there that your beading threads. Alison, they're amazing, aren't they? Yeah, they're absolutely incredible. And, and they're just two very simple techniques that everybody can do. And they're just amazing. And the necklace I actually nearly made into a bracelet. How wow. amazing is a bracelet? And, and you know they go so they're brilliant they go so far and you've got all the different sizes these are the 20 yep. mil that we're bringing you first now don't be fooled by their sort of big statement size and remember i'm hold, holding on to two sorry i got hiccups um anyway so because it's abalone a type of shell they're actually quite lightweight aren't they so they're very wearable yep. and very comfortable to wear Ab absolutely i mean I, I would never think of making earrings like that um with anything else be no. be 
but but these are so light they're light as a feather and they're you can get beautiful. away with a real statement yeah because they're so light yeah they're just amazing they, there's no way i think there's probably more weight in the like shepherd hook almost yeah possibly i mean every single color uh, of the rainbow of the spectrum that you can possibly wish to include into your yeah. your jewelry is included in your abalone mosaic rounds um they are little works of art you know not only have you got here a mother nature work of art not only has she done her magical thing creating these beautiful uh, concentric circles those wonderful patterns and colors um, the, the the iridescence as the light glides across the sur surface of each little picture frame we've then pieced it together using absolutely the finest examples 20 of these have gone already jewelry makers um, and and i launched them the first time round. i can remember because it was they flew out the door absolutely flew out the door i can't remember the exact quantity that we had it was about a couple of years ago um well today it's going so yeah. so so low 10 pieces you're getting on a strand i mean one of those we were speaking earlier yeah. on about marlin necklaces but at the same yeah. time you could just have one on a long line pendant would look absolutely exquisite yeah ab absolutely so similar to, to the way we did with the fossil you just pop one in there and and you're good to go yeah they're just amazing yeah they gorgeous make brilliant long line necklaces the, the 10 mil are, are fantastic for things like that well jewelry makers already 35 of these have gone um we only have 99 are you ready are you ready for individual 10 works of art but be, being created by one of mother nature's absolutely unbelievable treasures at 21.95 you and they're super easy to work with jewelry makers you know again abalone we instantaneously know that it's a it's, it's a mother nature's gemstone even with little to no gem knowledge you can see her magic within each of these creations um but it takes a lot of work to take effectively a, a, a flat piece of abalone to then go on to create these beautiful orbs hiya sue morning l i have these already so beautiful i have to buy again i bought them the first time round so um and i mine have all gone from my stash they they're, they're long 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 gone hello liz i've missed getting these glorious beads in other shows fingers crossed i'll get some today oh well i really do hope so because the reality is we can't keep up with the um the demand for these liz um they were first launched i can remember the first launch it was a couple of years ago at least and they flew out the door and like i said i had ollie director ollie i had my guest designer mark smith with me on on the show and they were all like okay let's place an order let's all do it together so we don't <laughs> miss out as well and i totally understand that i mean alison again talk to me as if as if i'm new to jewelry making uh, you don't have to overcomplicate them because i think the beauty is in the actual design of the abalone yeah, absolutely. You want you want you want a, a simple design. Um, use them singly. I mean, they're great pendants on their own. Like we say, pop pop a pop a, a, a head pin through one. Yeah. From the top, pop it on one of those chains we had on first thing this morning. You're good to go. It's going to oh, look lovely. amazing. Lovely. Just stunning. It takes you to those tropical places again, doesn't it? Oh, it does. I mean, I would I would so so put these with the kit with the with the. Um, the blue the blue opal i think yeah. that just goes stunningly with them now you know just use those you could just have one in amongst the blue opal it would look amazing they go beautifully with pearls of course they're all from the sea together so well, the pearls just go amazingly with them i don't have the opal here with me but what i do have is the ratnakiri uh, sorry <gasps> the blue zircon yeah now, just to give you a little heads up jewelry makers these would now bring you the 16 millimeters um because they are maybe slightly more wearable slightly people have maybe more confidence with these sizes they sell a lot faster um but look at how beautiful they complement one another and you said it perfectly this morning Alison. whatever colored gemstone you put alongside that becomes the dominant color of the piece of jewelry uh, absolutely absolutely because 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 of the nature of the shell you've got the whole rainbow in there you've got every color but whatever you put with it will pull that color to the fore you know as it goes around there in the recording you can see pinks you can see purples blues greens yellows oranges the whole the whole lot's in there and whatever you put with it it'll pull it forward yeah totally and that's, and that's, 
that's what's so beautiful about these pieces because you've got that neutral background as well. They just go with everything. I love them. Um, Stunning. Look at that. Now, we have a slightly larger quantity of these jewellery makers. Look, they're like little individual oh. rainbows. Oh, and especially with everything that's been going on. Um, all of those wonderful rainbow paintings that we're seeing in people's windows. Imagine actually being able to wear one of those in a genuine natural mm -hmm. gemstone. Look at the chromatic, sh uh, chromatic shift just here. Can you see that iridescence? Look at that purple p uh, transferring to pink. £18.95 pence jewellery wow. makers. They're absolutely stunning. And I love the fact that up close and personal, they've all got their own individuality. As I said earlier on, you know, it's it's like our own individual fingerprints. No two will actually be the same. Um, and, and the actual creator, artist, let's call them an artist, has taken the finest pieces of your abalone and pieced them together most beautifully. I mean, look, you've, got the, you've almost got the central parts of each of those conce uh, concentric rings. Every single colours that you could possibly possibly wish for, positioning them beautifully um, in each of these statement pieces. Uh, 1895, I had 147 of these available. Um, these are the 16 millimetres, but again, I need to emphasise, still big stones, but they're quite lightweight, aren't they still, Alison? Very lightweight. They're very, very, all, all three of the sizes are lightweight. Um, they've all got good drill holes, so so you'll get your cords through there. You can knot with them, whether you're doing marla knotting, you can you can use them in your macrame. You know, you could just put a knot either side and have a, have a simple cord going down around your neck. Absolutely amazing pieces, bracelets earrings they're just phenomenal the potential of what you can create with them i'm just literally reaching yeah. behind me alison because i know there's there's always lovely pearls here in the studio um again a necklace that i always reach for but look how gorgeous it would actually be in in, in amongst some genuine pearls and a few Soroskis. look how lovely this is as a, as a composition together beautiful i love Be that absolutely love yeah they're always going to go with pearls all, all, anything coming from from the sea, or the, you know the freshwater pools as well. So, so all that sort of nature, they all work so well together. Stunning with, I love it with pearls. Amazing, amazing. Right, okay. Now on to our final abalone mosaic opportunity. Abby's. And it is going to be the fastest selling. I say that because they are ten mil. So. You know, different builds, I suppose. People, people that may be slightly more petite would maybe favour the smaller sizes. There's no right or wrong answer to this. But 10 mils are, are, are in these, this design, historically, I can tell you are the fastest selling ones. Um, they are beautiful, and I just love getting close to them all. So you can see those exquisite patterns. 15 you're getting on this strand. They're just amazing, aren't they? 20 have already gone. There we go. I knew it was going to be the case. Um, so incredible, incredible works of art. I can tell you they're really beautifully smooth as well, so they're not going to be uncomfortable to wear. Little individual rainbows of iridescence um, in your 10 millimeter size. Yeah, I, I knew it. This, I knew this was going to be the fastest selling abalone uh, mosaic round opportunity. We do have further abalone coming your way, but not in the mosaic um, works of art like this. Uh, they're flying out the door, jewelry makers. Let's bring it into your star by price tag. It's a show which is completely laced with beautiful, beautiful treasures. I've got Sphine coming up as your deal of the day. A <laughs> mega auction on your chrome diopside. I had Specitite Garnet. We've had, we've had Blue Zircon. Each of these would look absolutely incredible alongside. This is the one, yeah, that is, that, that, that is probably breaking all the records in terms of popularity. Um, hello to you all, Zoe. Annette, Michaela, hello to you, Sally, London, Sheila, Cambridgeshire, D, Marianne, hello to you, uh, Isle of Wight, Cheryl, Roz, hello to you, Jessie, Pamela, Hertrude, Kimberly, Susanna, Jenny, a gemstone, a true gemstone of the ocean and one that you can literally visually see. If you think about how many of you, um, you know, this, this gemstone features in Disney films. This is this gemstone that uh, Moana's grandmother actually wears that holds the heart of the uh, Tafiti, is it? Um, it's actually abalone. And it's almost like Disney themselves have, have sort of uh, almost been inspired
inspired by abalone in terms of the actual colours that are included within that Disney movie. £16.95. I had £140... £150, sorry. £150, but already well over half the stock has gone. Massively so. Um, and going back to those earrings, Alison, you put those yep. three sizes and created that beautiful graduated... Look at those. And they're, they're amazing. Just, they're, they're so lightweight. They're beautiful. You could use one of those as a pendant. Oh, yes. Pop that on a chain. It would look amazing as well. Yeah. But they're, because they're so lightweight, you know, I know um, there's a lot of chunky jewellery around mm. at the moment. Um, it was on the catwalks um, and things like that. So so these are perfect for the moment. Yeah. And, and they are going to be comfy. They are. I mean, I, I go back to a pair of earrings mum bought for me ages ago and they're stunning they're a smoky quartz but i can only wear them for a short period of time because they're so heavy yeah. these you're gonna wear all day and not feel them totally the same around your neck so so the the that one because that's got all three sizes it's got one of the one of the 20 four of the um what's the next size? The 40 mil, and then six of the 10 and and that is so lightweight and i don't usually do ch chunky jewelry I yeah. loved I've been wearing this. But why not oh, with abalone? It? Why not indeed? Okay, Love well, it. speaking of big statement abalone, I, I oh. can tell you this for sure. These are the largest abalones that we actually have. Yes. That, uh, bar a single. If you want a strand, these are the biggest sizes, and they are Love beautiful. These. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? just stunning so i'm gonna go back to that that disney film mm. <gasps> look at those it's one of those suspended from a pendant that yeah. holds the heart of tafiti in that movie film yeah and the colors just amazing unbelievable look at that so just using one of your abalone shells as and a I focal bead I love the way they're all different, the, the patterns on them. And both sides are totally different. Yeah. I just adore it. I mean, I made one of those into the body of a fish once. I, I just adore them. Look at that. They are absolutely exquisite. And you're going to lose hours of your day just admiring yeah. each and every single one of these treasures. 57 millimetres. The drill hole runs, which must be really difficult to achieve actually with an abalone shell. Uh, literally top to bottom, 19.95. Look at this beautiful uh, metallic uh, iridescence on this one here. They are stunningly, breathtakingly beautiful. And a collection from, you know, if, if you know of jewellers that actually work with abalone, it will, abalone will be one of their most popular, I'm sure. And um, because we just get drawn to it, it has that tropical essence and every single colour that you could possibly, possibly wish for um, in any one gemstone. 0800 644 How many did I have? Just 62 of these available um, in the world, jewelry makers. Once they're gone, um, then obviously we're waiting for our further abalone deposits. So um, this is a gemstone which is still, to this day, they actually farm it. Um, so much like your cultured pearls, they farm it um, these days. They can nurture and care for every single one of these beautiful abalone shells themselves. Did you know an abalone can also form pearls? Um, so it, they're very, very rare, exceptionally rare. Approximately one in several hundred um, abalone uh, mollusks will actually produce a pearl. So it's very, very, very rare. But two gemstones there of the ocean that I think are in perfect with harmony with one another. Um, again, may well be an on-screen sellout. These are the largest sizes that I have in your abalone in terms of a strand itself. And you can use them as individuals. Again, they're lightweight because it's a shell. It's durable. You know, you don't have to be too precious with these, do we, Alison? They are very much workable. Yeah, absolutely, they're workable. You know, it's not something you've got to sort of pad round to make sure it, it doesn't it doesn't uh, touch anything. And but I, I mean, I'd count each of those as individuals. They're just amazing. You could make one ama amazing statement necklace. Yeah. Uh, wow. And and that's going to be a pretty penny's worth. Oh. But, I'd count each of those as individuals because they're just so amazing. So beautiful. Yeah. Moving and I, on. Sorry. Let's, no, no, no. Don't ever apologise, Alison, because I, I love listening to you. But moving on, because 
If you don't want something that's maybe going to protrude and you want something that's going to caress the décolletage or maybe the finger or the back of the wrist line or maybe something that's going to fall uh, very subtly down. Oh, I say subtly, there's nothing subtle about abalone's beauty. But I'm talking about the flat shape. So this, now also consider that abalone doesn't naturally form in a flat shape. It's normally domed. It's a shell. It's a mollusk. So these will have been absolutely enormous abalones <laughs> to get that flat, flat surface itself. Look at the colours. I'm just, I'm transfixed by this one here. Greens, pinks, purples. Straight yeah. down to your price tag, jewellery makers. They're double-faced mm -hmm. abalones as well, so you're not just getting the beauty on the one side, you're getting it on reverse. And make sure if you do your price comparisons that you make that that is included because not all abalone opportunities that you might see online um, actually has a double abalone opportunity. Here's a few creations, so using some fabulous wire work techniques, you can see that um, you can frame them like little planets in your metal sheets. 1895 jewellery makers only. Um, I mean, are they easy to treat like cabochons? Oh gosh, yeah, because and um, prong setting is 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 a piece of cake. But yeah, you can use them as as cabochons very easily, and and because they've got that um, flat profile side, mm. that they make it very easy. Sometimes if you've got a steep curve on a cabochon, it, you've got to go quite a way to capture it. Yeah. But with those, you've only just got to get over that lip with a couple of mil and you've got that gemstone it's and it's captured. nice and secure even things yeah. like gallery wire i suppose gallery wire would lend itself perfect. yeah absolutely perfect with your gallery wire because you have That's you just need to tip that top over and you're done yeah Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Again, very, very popular jewellery makers. Um, these are, I can tell you, the largest ovals that we have. Um, flat ovals, I should say. Um, we've got rounds, we've got drops, we've got triangles, we've even got hearts. But yeah, in terms of the flat ovals, these are the largest that we actually have. Um, what was that, sorry? I was going to say, if you, if you, going back to the Wall of Fame, these are brilliant with soutache. Yeah, oh, beautiful. Absolutely amazing with your soutache. Again, because you've got, they sit nicely in it, they're, they're, you, you'll just nestle in it. They're great with your shibori as well. I was going to say shibori, actually, because yeah. I, th I think, you know, they're lightweight, so it's not, you could actually wear it, um, even sort of places like it, maybe in the hair, if you wanted to create like a, a really Ooh. beautiful fascinator, Ooh. that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Right, moving on. Okay, <clears throat> of all your shells, I mean, as in the actual th almost three-dimensional shells, you had the one previously. I have one single, <gasps> and this is time permitting, of course. This is the last of your abalone shells. So pretty and so wearable. Mm. I'm just picturing one of those maybe in an anklet. <gasps> oh, nice. Oh, yes, I like that idea. One of those in an anklet, you, well, you can go all out because you're actually getting 14 pieces. Again, double-sided. This is the curved abalone, which kind of is reminiscent of how, it, 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 how abalone looks in its natural uh, habitat. I watched a documentary um, a while ago, and it, sort of, it, it stuck with me about abalone, uh, abalone. And in certain locations around the world, you're not allowed to free dive for it. The reason for that is it can be very dangerous. Um, and it's more often than not farmed itself. But I was, it was actually... Um, in Australia where they were in a location where they were allowed to free dive for it but one of the things they had to be very mindful of is actually sharks um, because <laughs> yeah if you can imagine the coastal regions of where this gemstone actually forms sharks also like to loiter about um, <laughs> but what an amazing brave people brave people that are free diving for this treasure but what an amazing treasure um, that they actually end up with beautiful colors um, they are like little paintings I can almost see like Van Gogh paintings across the surface of these yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and I'm thinking they'd go brilliantly with some um, some amber as well. Yeah. Oh, amazing! Two organic gemstones together. Beautiful, yeah. absolutely beautiful. Twelve ninety-five only, jewelry makers. How many did I have then, Wayne? Okay, we've got quantity, but they are getting snapped up. Hello to you all, Maureen, Sandra, Ella, uh, Chan, uh, Isla Man. Well done to you, Warwickshire, uh, Ruth, Sandra. Hello to you, Hampshire. 
Hertrude, Jean in Flintshire, Gelata. If, I mean, if you've been on like a, any kind of holiday destination, especially mm. if you go to sort of tropical locations, then I would imagine you'll have actually been blessed with abalone jewellery, seen abalone jewellery uh, chosen by different designers. And you can totally see why they favour it because it has got that, you know, um, <sighs> That, that image, it, it straight away reminds yeah. us of, 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 of places like the Maldives and the Seychelles and the Caribbean in yeah. one treasure. It, it is. A friend of mine's um, a, silk, uh, a silk painter. Oh, wow. Some of the designs she does reminds me of this as well. Very, very organic, very free-flowing. She's got all those colours blended in. So I could imagine one of those as a as a scarf pin. Yeah. Oh lovely. You know, look incredible with some of her silk scarves. Oh, with like a oh yeah, beautiful. I love that idea. Um Adam just said like oil on water. Yeah, you see that wonderful spectrum, don't you, across the surface. Um okay, it. moving on. Right, I have these are I'm gonna show I've got two different drops. One is oh. top to bottom, one is top. So if you're looking for cascades, drops, or if you want to actually maybe have them in like a, a very 1920s inspired uh, decolletage Ooh. piece, then this is definitely going to be for you. And that's something actually, I said it and, and, and just had that light bulb moment. These are reminiscent of the 1920s because if you think about, you know, their, their fashion at that time. Yeah. Um, it was it was very much a celebratory time when they were using feathers and bright colours, yeah. etc. Um, so yeah, abalone is very much reminiscent of that of that era. Nineteen ninety five. Brilliant. Eight, Love. All eighteen. Oh okay. Oh <laughs> oh okay. It's not nineteen ninety five. Oh. No no, that wasn't meant to be there. That's what we were meant to be. If you just Google wow. an abalone ring, yeah. should we do it? Yeah, go on. You could very easily prong set these, again, because they're opaque. You're not going to see the drill hole, but you can use that if you're, if you're new to secure it. They'd make an amazing ring. So here we go. I'm just looking. Thank you, Adam, for telling me to do it. Look, I'm just looking. This is all I've just put abalone ring. So bear in mind this will be one of your stones. Just an what? idea. Just an idea of prices that they can actually be. Top designers using it. You know, and that's just one feature abalone. Yeah. And Alison, you just said it would be super easy to prong set itself. Uh, absolutely, look these, absolutely. Look at these big names. Ooh, Where yeah. is that? I like that one. <laughs> 2,000 pounds? Yeah, yeah, I thought I liked that one. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. But you can see, like I said, and this is not, these are not complicated techniques no. that these designers are actually using here. Um, okay, moving on. I love these. I absolutely love these. Am I allowed to have a favourite? I don't know. Am I allowed a favourite? How many of these are available? Right, 112, I love these. I think you will too. Because I'm just going to show you like this. Oh, I love the coins. I, I, as, a, as a shape, it's a beautiful shape to use. Look how simple that is, Alison. But look how beautiful. Yeah. Stunning, isn't it? What? We're taking abalone into a single-figure price tag. <laughs> Double-sided abalone. So even if they do roll or tessellate, it doesn't matter because you're always going to have that iridescence and those beautiful array of colours. Eight ninety-five for a 38-centimetre strand of double-sided abalone in these beautiful coins. I love the size. I think it's the size that I'm loving yeah. because you could just take one and use it as a solitaire ring, like the ones I was yeah. just showing you. You can use one just on elastic because the drill holes are more than generous. So even... Uh, your gauges of elastic will go through there it's super versatile and so 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 on trend i had 112 of these yeah i knew they'd be popular they are beautiful aren't they what is it that you love about the coins then they're, they're great they're great to use as rings so you can make very quick easy wire work rings with them because like you say they usually have a generous drill hole um, you can prong set with them. You can just use a little simple piece of wire work. The shape lends itself to so many designs. But like you say, just making a stretchy of them. Yeah. How amazing would that be? 
you know, um, mingle it with your with your micro faceted strands we've had today <gasps> as stacker bracelets. Amazing. Pop one of those in the middle. Amazing. They they great. You know. Oh gosh. Alongside some chrome dioxide. Yes, or... please. Hang on. I think it's about time I introduce you to your first deal of the day. <gasps> Alongside to the most, dis well, one of the most dispersive gems out there, that is Sveen. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful. Eight ninety five only. Well done. Alongside your blue uh, zircon that we had previously. Again, small cube. Lots of you with it in your baskets. There's no queue on the web. Check out because there's only 112 of those wow. available. So I'll leave it with you. Right. Top to bottom drops. I um, think one of the easiest shapes to use. I think that's per why I like them. Perfect if you if you if you start enough into jewelry maker because you can pop a head pin through, loop on the top, and it'll go in so many designs. So so easy to use. Literally pop it through and away you go. Yeah. We're running out of time, so um, we're going to have to pick up the pace and work together. Jewelry <laughs> makers, loads of colour within these. Does anyone else see that really high mirror-like iridescence with these? Yeah, like Alison said, head, uh, head pin, loop, attach to your shepherd hook or a pendant yeah. or a chain or whatever you wish. Um, there are the, these are the only top to bottom pairs that I've actually got for you, jewelry makers. And like I said, we are running out of time within this show. Uh, so do grab them whilst you can. A fusion of all your colours that you could possibly wish for. Um, unique patterns and markings that um, are as individual as you and I are. At £12.90. Twenty-five pence again. Lots of collectors getting involved. Hi, Jean. Hi, Ellen. Alison. Every time I wear abalone, people comment on how beautiful it is. I totally, totally agree, Jean. Uh, hi, it's you, Corin. Saying hi, ladies. Didn't Alison make a turtle out of one of these? Is there a CD? Um, no. Now I, I it might have been Rachel who made. Was the it turtle. the fish? You made a I fish. A fish. I made a fish out of one. Okay. Don't Maybe Rachel, because she does love abalone. I don't know. Be one of our talented wire workers. Have a little look. Have a do have a look. I'm sure lots lots of our guest designers have chosen this gemstone. In all honesty, um, okay. Black wow. spinel, <gasps> Swarovski. This strand. I'm just thinking. It's like flapper Lionels. era. Perfect. <gasps> oh wow. Perfect oh, art deco I, opportunity. I was just thinking that. Absolutely fantastic art deco. Wow, they're amazing. Wow, 10.95 for these beautiful triangles. And if you wanted to, you know, tessellate them together, they're going to work exquisitely um, because they are almost mathematically precise 12 millimeter sizes. Um, cleverly, drill hole is always uh, almost completely invisible i suppose look at this one um almost invisible within your abalones because yep. it, it actually runs through the central resin so where you know where the two pieces not resin but where the two pieces have actually been secured together i mean look at that yeah beautiful, beautiful little scales yes for some tropical fish look at that one there goodness me Incredible, absolutely incredible. Well done, uh, and I can say this quite confidently, these are the only triangles that we have in the abalone showcase, full stop. Wow. Full stop, the only ones that we actually have for you. Um, so check them out nice and early. Oh, beautiful dominance of pinks. They make fabulous little um, dicky bows as well. Oh yeah, that's it's a nice sense. idea. <laughs> Uh, was it Jean that said earlier on that some, whenever she wears abalone, it always gets noticed? It's, it's like, for me, it's like the, the oceanic labradite because, you know, it, we are like moths to a flame. We're drawn to those amazing displays of colour. Um, it, it, so often used, actually, by big designers, even some of the flagship jewellers that I was showing you a few moments ago, um, you know, actually as that... You know, come come look into our windows. Look at the wonderful treasures that we actually uh, that we actually can offer you. So abalone is often used for that purpose. Um, okay, so who loved the coins? You're gonna love these. If you love the coins, I think you're gonna love these. Ooh. So these are the double-sided squares. So I'm thinking the coins, the squares, and the triangles together in a piece. Oh. That is why you're an amazing guest designer. 
And by the way, that's not, that's not even going to break the bank, is it, for all of those? Brilliant. Because they're all of a similar size, aren't they? Mm. Eight ninety-five. Maybe something for the gents, I think, in the squares. Yeah, yeah. They'd make a fantastic square ring. Yes. Make a beautiful ring. With something like sterling silver clay or something like that. Yeah, you could do it with it with your silver clay. Don't forget, don't bake them in the clay. No. Create a setting and then and then uh, bake it. You could do a nice argentium setting with it as well. Oh, that would be. I love that idea. Eight pound ninety-five. Again, these are very very popular. Um, have I got quantity? Mm, not so much. Not so much. Ninety-eight. But with the, given the the popularity that abalone actually offers, um, and I do think you know it's not just us here at Jewelry Maker. Everywhere, every jewelry designer, abalone is one of those that we're completely hypnotised by. It's the colours, yeah. the fact that they, it's, they they almost transform. It's almost got a metamorphosizing ability. I'm not saying it literally does. But it's not. It's the iridescence that you're seeing, that performance of light across the surface of the um, of the shell itself, but they almost seem to mirage into a totally other image, don't they? Um, but, amazing. But it it's just gorgeous. I love it. It, it is, you were right, they're the, like the Labradorite, because as you move, the colour changes. Yeah. And it's just going to look amazing. You, have you ever tried to walk past, like, a, a stall that maybe has Labradorite or abalone, and you're trying, you keep trying, my husband always has a tighter grip whenever he walks <laughs> past you. He tightens up my grip slightly and just pulls me in slow, uh, closer. Anyway, but I've tried to walk past it, and you can't because the colours are going, come back, come back, come back. Yeah. It's yeah. exactly like these. Beautiful, beautiful abalone hearts. Again, top to bottom drilled. I mean, just one of those on a wish bracelet, Alison. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yes, they'd look beautiful. One of those on a head pin with a loop on it as a pair, pair of earrings, two of them as a pair of earrings, look amazing. You top love. to bottom again, which I think is lovely. I, I much prefer my hearts top to bottom. Yes. Because the heart sits the right way as a drop. Lovely. Make them into charms. As opposed to sort of horizontally. I'm yeah. also thinking, if you if you use a little bit of your jewellery making glue with a head pin from maybe the kit that you had in the nine o'clock hour, um, and literally left it as it is, but ha little hairpins for maybe somebody that's getting married on the beach. Oh, love that idea. Little hairpins that you can just literally yeah. stick into your hair and wear them like so, or maybe a day at the races. Twelve ninety five only. Hi. Hello, West Yorkshire. Hello to you, Lorraine, Amanda, Angela, Jeannie. Hello to you, London, Pamela. Um, checking out nice and early. Well done. We are running out of time. We're less than 10 minutes away from your beautiful Sveen deal of the day. And Ooh. then the mega auction deal of the day. That is your chrome diopside. Okay. Sorry? The bars. Again, I don't know why I keep thinking about 1920s fashion. Because you've got that step down bit. That's where you get the 20s from, because they step. Oh. It's, the, it's, it's that tapering, isn't it? Because they really yeah. worked beautifully <gasps> with, we're going to have to go straight down, um, with curves, not yeah. just in your jewellery, um, but also see, in, in architecture, didn't they? What was that, sorry? Yeah. I was going to say, just that, re-thread it onto a chain, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I don't even know. You can do all sorts with it as well, but I just love it like that. A fan of, of stepped uh, gemstone is stunning. Yeah, I, I've seen lots of designers separate them, but they, they just work beautifully together. And if I just turn that way, can you see how they taper down? Yeah. Every single one tapers down. This is solid, beautiful quality. Look at that high mirror-like iridescence. Every single colour that you could possibly wish for. Um, you can shape them round. I think it was Gemma Crow that once put two lots of these in a, one in each pair of earrings. And they yeah. just look, yeah. look absolutely magnificent. Eight ninety five only. Well done. Again, multi-buyers. Um, you can pop this. This is actually on sort of like an acrylic thread, but you can use it on your beading thread. You can use it on various different gauges of wires. Can you imagine wiring them, flipping them up the other side and having a little tiara? Oh, yes. Wouldn't that look so gorgeous? Like the Statue of Liberty. Oh, yes. Yeah, Adam's just said that one. Yeah, great idea. Also quite, um, I don't know, a little bit sort of medieval in that kind of inspiration. Yes, yes. Love it. Stay holding. Uh, Twelve. Oh, Wow. 
Yes. Now this, how many of you, not, I mean, you are exceptional talents at jewellery making, but photography is a thing, especially if you actually sell your jewellery. Now, this can obviously, it is drilled, be used as a pendant. I would actually use this in photography too. It's a massive, what? How many? 60 of these are available in the world. Okay, just dial now, because that's, that's ridiculous. Look, you've got the little fishy eye in his little mouth there. <laughs> little fishy eye in the mouth? Yeah, by his right hand, by your right oh, hand yeah. side. Little mouth I could, he looks cross, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, uh. Um, oh, look oh. at how beautiful that iridescence <laughs> is. Amazing that this is actually created... <laughs> in the vast oceans. I cannot believe we're under five pounds. Well, the reasoning what? for that, jewellery makers, is because we shouldn't be, categorically. There were 60 of these available. Not only for your jewellery making, I'm thinking for objects, you know, yep. nice little items to have around your home, you know, as certainly for, for, to aid your photography. If you're selling yep. things like pearls, i put them on an abalone, you know, absolutely. for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Drape, drape the pearls over that shell. And it will hen enhance the product without being over the top because it and it's just stunning. You Amazing. There were 60 of these available. There's a lot of multi buyers. Um, <laughs> Wayne actually just said, I shouldn't be doing this, so let's just do it quickly. £4.95. That's what he said. There we go. I'm going to leave the graphics with you. The final few of those available. Jewelry makers, are you ready for not just one, but two deal of the days? The exquisite treasure. That is Sveen, one of the most dispersive gemstones on our planet, and also a mega auction on chrome dioxide after this. Don't want to miss a jewellery maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Hi Jewellery Makers, I'm Linda Jones, the creator of the Whammer Hammer. This is a multi-tool hammer. It's got five heads. It's everything you need for all your jewellery making needs. So I'll be demonstrating all the heads. So please join me for a fantastic jewellery show. At Jewellery Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewellery Maker. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. 
If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. How are we all this morning? I hope you're well. My name's Eleanor. Um, I'm joined by the lovely, the wonderful, Alison Terry. Alison, oh. <laughs> <laughs> now just quickly before um, I go into my absolute love story for this gemstone, uh, do you own Sphene? I do. Do I was lucky enough to get them. We we had it on. I don't. It wasn't round. It's not. It's not like this. No. This stunning. But I do have a little bit. I love this stone. It's 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 a it's an absolutely incredible gemstone and the most desired. Let me just talk about this first because Sphene you can get in black. You can get colourless Sphene. You can get different shades, but the most gemologically desired is a really beautiful zesty green like what you're looking at here jewelry makers on your screen mm. truly what i would describe as one of the world's most magical gemstones with a hypnotic appearance to it yeah. zesty natural lime greens which will actually show you flashes of orange and yellow internally 
This gemstone now uh, to, the, to the gem world is actually relatively new. It was only discovered in 1795 uh, in the Bavarian for, uh, forest and is a member of the ti uh, titanite min mineral group. Now you might have heard this referred to as titanite before, but for me sphene is much more poetic, much more beautiful, um, and that's the term that we actually use when we're talking about high-end jewellery like this. With one of the highest dispersions of any mineral, um, what dispersion basically means is when white light, uh, white light enters, same conversation really as what we are having with the specotype, when white light enters into the gemstone, how much of a how how well does it break that light down to bring you that beautiful spectrum of colours? Well, sphene will do that more over than any diamond will, massively so. The primary sources of this gem, so we can get it from Canada, we can get it from Madagascar, we can get it from Mexico, uh, more recently Australia. Switzerland, Brazil, India, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Kenya, um, and even New York State. However, those examples are incredibly, incredibly scarce. And bear in mind that you are looking at the single most sought after color of your sphene. The greens, it's all about the greens. Yes, you can get it in yellows, you can get it in oranges, browns, but it's all about the green color. It's named after the Greek word, uh, Safina, which basically means wedge, that's how it translates, and that's referring to its, its wedge shape that the, the crystal actually uh, forms naturally within. And according to the IGS, and I meant to, I apologise, I meant to do a slide for, the, for you for this, the International Gem Society, so a huge influential uh, sort of corporation, if you like, um, institution, let's call it that, that was actually referencing sphene of this colour, of this quality, they actually state that the market preferences, the lighter tones, especially the yellow, light oranges and greens, which show the gems amazing dispersion. So that's not me saying it, that's the International Gem Society. There's lots of positivities. Green is a gemstone, that, or rather colour of gemstone, that, that we immediately have very positive feelings towards. It's believed to help us against negativity and also uh, clear our thinking and also aid creativity. So wonderful for our gemstones as well, uh, for our, for our jewellery creators. I have only 79 opportunities. This is a real collector's opportunity. Sphene is not a gemstone that you see in massive collections. You don't see it in um, sort of uh, even even mainstream jewellers. It does tend to be more your your bespoke uh, jewellery houses. Cat Lawrence, for example, somebody that Wayne has um, has dealings with with in the past. She's actually created wonderful red carpet pieces of jewellery for celebrities to wear to the Golden Globes, etc. Now we have 60 seconds to count you into today's deal of the day. Uh, there are 79 opportunities, no more, no less. It is that beautiful green variety which is most sought after as written by the IGS themselves. And Alison, you've got some beautiful screen creations there to show us. Uh -huh. Just to show you, you can just use it so simply, set it within, within a, a bracelet, within within a, a, a ring uh, it, it's just so beautiful on its own but i mixed it with the rough brown zircon in a bubble style bracelet and it goes so well it's going to go with everything we've had today it's another one of those gemstones will go with everything it's beautiful and i think it's one of those alison that until you physically see it in in real life that's yeah. when you go, oh my goodness me, because it literally, it's, it's like electricity within a gemstone itself. The amount of dispersion and fire that this offering, uh, this gemstone offers you. That is why, you know, collectors are so, 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 uh, uh, um, literally compete massively to get hold of it and to obviously create those really bespoke, one-of-a-kind pieces of jewellery. I know countless presenters that will tell you Sphene is their favourite gemstone, and I can totally understand it. The 
rarity, the dispersion, the yeah. fact that it's a totally natural colour as well, and the fact that we're bringing it to you today as your deal of the day jewellery makers, but only 79 collectors will be successful in this. I say 79, it might be less depending if there's actually multi-buyers. I don't, I don't ever recall bringing you speed in rounds. Um, again, think about how the crystal structure itself forms, wedge-like shapes, yeah, as the name suggests. So rounds maybe, that might be an indication of the difficulty of cutting this gemstone. Plus, also, Sphene is not, it's not easily polished. So it's one of those that maybe when polishing, you want to have a flat facet. So that's much easier to actually achieve than something that is 360 degrees all round polishing. Beautiful, zesty, natural colors. High dispersion, incredible, incredible amounts Absolutely. of fire. Sorry, Wayne, how did I not have in my head that that's what you were going to do? I'll say it quickly. It's like a band-aid situation. Let's say it quickly. If you don't own Sphene, firstly, let today's deal of the day be the first introduction because you will love it after this. We're going to remove the one. There we are. Three, two, one. Go, 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 jewellery makers. There are 79 of these available for natural effortlessly graduated Sveen of the most sought after colour. Oh, hang on. He has to go one step further, doesn't he? Wonderful, Wayne. We've removed the one and then some. I wouldn't do anything different to what our in-house designers have done here, Alison. I love this piece of jewellery. It is breathtaking. It's again, it's another gemstone that stands out on its own. Yeah. It, it's going to be the show, you know, the showstopper. It is, it is the piece. So, so just doing it simply can look amazing. You know, use some of those, maybe three of them within a within a, a slider bracelet. They're oh, beautiful! Amazing. You know, a, a tear drop. So go graduate in, in the sizes down. Going to look amazing. Pair of earrings. This strand will go quite a way. And if, if you're thinking, I don't know Sveen, I've never heard of Sveen, is Sveen valuable? Oh yes, the fact, use if it's new to you, uh, let that, um, I don't know, how, do, how, how can I word this? If, you, if, if a gemstone is not as well known as maybe your diamonds, rubies, your sapphires and emeralds, all those ones, um, that isn't an indication. It should categorically not be an indication of the, um, of, of, of the rarity. In fact, some of the rarest gemstones, like Sveen, especially in this colour and this quality, actually command some of the highest prices in the industry. It's, it's, lim it's, it's not mainstream because of the rarity. Now, this is a necklace which has been created by Aquamarine, but can you imagine can you imagine it actually done with Sveen as well because you've got the difference of the sizes I had 79 of these and again it's getting limited um, well over half the stock has gone but telephone callers you're being answered well done to you uh, Karen Sharon Jenny Josephine Sarah Christina Stephanie Jacqueline hello to you Wiltshire Teresa Essex multi buying uh, another Essex well done to you Susan hello to you London Jenny uh, Christine Gillian Tina uh, Pauline Esther and Trevor hello to you Jay uh, sorry Lane sorry Julie Karen Beryl Julie in Leicestershire multi-buying um, you've got to check out those baskets now because there were 79 and that's it again it's the same scenario as what I said to you about the specitite garnet I cannot do showcases of Sveen I mean if you hop along to our sister channel in something in your faceted individual solitaires in 18 karat gold yeah you can probably find Sveen. But in terms of a parcel that you're getting here at Jewelry Maker, this is the only round strand that I believe we have on our website currently. Because um, you've got to remember that. We're not just buying one solitaire here, Jewelry Makers. For one of those Sveens, that would be absolutely incredible. You're getting an entire parcel across this, uh, this beautiful strand stroke necklace. Now, this is obviously it made up into jewelry. It comes super simply, though, um, on a strand itself. And all, all all of all of our uh, there's no other sveen did you say rounds no no other sveens uh, in rounds on our website so look i mean all our in-house designers are doing is beautifully popped a few of your two millimeter gold plated 925 sterling silver spaces in between that is stunning Ooh. yeah stunning 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 the final 15 of these are left within the vault Oh, I'm all wow. over it. I, I own Sveen, but I haven't got a huge amount of this gemstone. And I think, like you said, I'd probably, I'd probably use 
this much for the actual necklace and I'll keep this much for a matching tennis style bracelet. What, what about you, Alison? <laughs> Guest yeah, designer I'm, I'm extraordinaire. Like, I'm liking the tennis style bracelet with it. Um, I definitely want a pair of earrings. I might take three of them to make a, a ring as well. So uh, three of the smaller sizes. So you have one in the middle and two, two of the smaller ones and, and crisscross that. I do a crisscrossy type bracelet. Mm. They were absolutely super, super to work with. Loved working with them. Um, I got them on, uh, so they're on the head pins, which are 0 0.6, um, 0 0.4 wire. I can't remember. I don't think I tried it with anything bigger, but they, they went on the 0 0.6 okay. I love what you Jenny did. suggested. She just said, I love Sveen. I might put it with some charite to have that Ooh. real beautiful contrast. But I totally agree with what you're saying here. Eventually, after I've gazed yeah. at it for a while. Because yeah. it, uh, do, you, do, do you remember when you, uh, sort of you were children? Did you ever go to, we had one near where I grew up in, in, in Cardiff. Um, so there was, there was uh, like a, a science museum. And you'd go with your school trips, etc. And you remember those glass orbs? I can't remember what they're called. And you put your hands outside and you'd have the... The, oh, the electric the electric sort of shoot out yeah. towards your, your palms uh, it's like that in terms of its actual dis, uh, it, its dispersion as a gemstone uh, hello to you margo bashasaurus living up to his name we love you lad margo says in five <laughs> stay safe Ah, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Hello, Deb, saying I love Sveen. Uh, the fire you get is amazing, a must for anyone's collection. I totally agree. It's hypnotic, isn't it? And I think that's the, the best description that I've, uh, I've, or word, really, I've ever had associated to green Sveen in particular. Um, it is truly, truly hyp hypnotic and completely naturally magical. I've yep. got the final few of those left now. Check those baskets out. Congratulations to you. Because we actually have today we couldn't make the choice this is the reality and you've got to remember that you know our team the wonderful powers that be will sit down and plan their deal of the deal of the days massively ahead now you put this into the throw this one onto the table and say okay so you can have a round brilliant cut natural chrome diopside of eight millimeters in its size or sphen could you choose because we couldn't well, this is your second deal of the day. It's a mega auction, and I can prom promise you that this is going to be an unbeatable collector's price tag. Are you ready, jewelry makers? <clears throat> now, I almost feel guilty that our gem investor, Jake, isn't here right now. And pr or perhaps it's a good thing because, <laughs> <laughs> because actually his words before last Thursday's show to me, I was talking about chrome diopside and I said, Jake, any development on the chrome diopside purchases as in have you have you managed to buy any and he just shook his head and went no he he, he literally he can buy tanzanite he could buy paparaccia sapphire as you saw on the weekend he can buy paraba although it's a little bit more challenging and alexandrite russian alexandrite a little bit more challenging he cannot buy chrome diopside now this is a gemstone. We can't even confirm whether the mine is completely closed or not, but it certainly is looking that way. Take a moment to admire this natural eight millimeter round, brilliant cut chrome diopside. It is unbelievable this. Wayne and I both, he's like, this is amazing, amazing, amazing. Let's talk some more about this incredible treasure. I'll pick it up with the tweezers in a few seconds, but I want to show you all the way around. Look how beautifully coordinated each and every single one of those facets are. Eight millimeters, sort of like the equivalent size of a one carat diamond, maybe a little bit more actually. But like most alluring emeralds, a relative recent discovery came from the very cold location of Siberia in Russia. Uh, that boasts some of the most mesmerizing deep greens and it is the precious gemstone that is chrome diopside. Chrome, okay, whilst not sounding the most beautiful, but emphasize one of the most important chemical compositions within this treasure. 
because chrome to any color gemstone is like a superpower. It adds color beyond all imagination. And that is what is giving you this electrifying green, chromium itself. The mine itself is so remote um, that it's literally along a dusty road itself and traveling for hours to get to, away from, far from most civilization to be truthful. And even when you've, be, you've got there through steep terrains, etc., and we are one of the few, Gemporia, are, you know, our umbrella company, um, we are one of the few gem specialists, really, that have been lucky enough to go to the actual mine itself. When you are there, and we have various different VTs that we could share with you, when you're actually there um, and you see the gemstone in its, in its natural form, you realize that actually to get a chrome diopside, which is that deep, is incredibly exciting because it forms in almost tiny, tiny, tiny layers. In fact, I can show you exactly what I'm talking about on this short film. This is the current surface they were working uh, before the, the season ended. And uh, in here, it looks like a mass of uh, chrome. But I've been here for about half an hour, and I could probably cut two or three carrots out of this whole section here. Um, most of it's dust. You can see it all breaking up and flaking up. Um, most of it's dust, but you just find the occasional bit. Try, it's going to be fine, hard to find one now I've said that. You, you might find the occasional bit that can be cut and faceted. That is Steve, our founder, at the location itself, and this is the treasure that he was desperately trying to find and reveal. As you could see, dust particles mostly. Look at what you have the opportunity to purchase. We very rarely see a chrome diopside. In fact, it's these words that I've got ingrained into my memory from first learning about this gemstone. Anything over half a carat in a chrome diopside is massively, massively rare and hugely, hugely exciting. Look at the quality of your chrome diopside, those electrifying greens from that one remote location in southern Siberia, um, which still, you know, if, if the rumours are true, the mine is completely and utterly closed. Even when it was unearthing this treasure, it was only ever mined for two to three months of the year due to those sort of extremities weather-wise. I've got a mega auction quantity. I've never seen a chrome diopside of one and a half carats on the nose at what you're going to see this deal of the day price tag at. Honestly, if you own chrome dioxide already, you're going to want to add this one to your collection. If you don't, then this is the perfect, perfect opportunity for you to get involved. Um, I have mentioned, jewellery makers, that we have got the actual calibrated ring mounts coming. They are imminent. Um, obviously, with the, with the pandemic that's been going on, a lot of our deliveries have been delayed, but you will find an 8mm ring mount coming into the jewellery maker vault very, very, very soon. This is your first deal of the day price tag, not last. Alison? <coughs> yes? Have you ever seen a chrome diopside, one and a half carat round brilliant cut? Nope. nope at fifty nine ninety five. <gasps> no, I haven't. Sorry. What about maybe a... Thirty-nine ninety-five. What? I'm still not done. Start dialing through now, jewelry makers. There are two hundred of these available. <laughs> ah, okay, Alison. Can I just say you might be up in that quantity in a few moments because that's <gasps> not even where we're actually stopping right now. Um, one and a half <laughs> carats. I mean, the opportunity, the potential of this statement, mesmerising natural green gemstone that you can create out of this. Found Basically, uh, this is one of the few gemstones that is found um, um, in and around Siberia. It's got natural colour and it's actually surfaced through what we call kimberlite pipes. Um, very, very, very challenging 
to actually uh, to mine because it's in extreme sub zero temperatures and if you imagine under those you know those conditions it's it you know an individual strength will diminish dramatically but in this location where there isn't a whole lot of green mother nature makes up with the most electrifying natural gemstone not your price tag jewelry makers we're going lower we said mega auction we don't just throw use that status in a throwaway comment we absolutely mean it 19.95 for you're oh, kidding me i'm not i'm not i told you oh my goodness i know I've can I, I'm just thinking, you know, even if you're not a gem setter as yet, that is something that we are definitely, definitely developing um, over the next few months here at Jewelry Maker. There's going to be a lot more gem setting shows and, as I said, ring mounts. Even if you're thinking, I'm brand new to Jewelry Maker, but I love my gemstones. I'm an absolute collector. Look at that electrifying green. Look how it's pooling the light in the coolie of the gem itself. Um, then truly, Jewelry Makers, truly, truly, get hold of this now and worry about what you're going to do with it at a later stage. You know, for me, I'd be getting at least two, at least two, because they'd be the most insanely beautiful stud earrings, the most stunningly beautiful stud earrings. It's more refractive. It's more brilliant than any emerald would actually offer you. But, and it's actually far, far, far rarer than most emeralds. We had 200. There are collectors getting multiples suffolk sport four uh, uh, allison well done to you that's guest designer allison congratulations uh <laughs> helen congratulations jacqueline hello to you angela well done to you Teresa, denise hello to you staffordshire patricia collectors in kent getting three hello to you karen in london karen in dartmoor hello to you buckinghamshire edith multibought kim's multibought i can't keep up with you now jewelry makers those of you that have a phone in your hand well done uh, allison what's this so this is what with it this is a citrine but that's what i want to do with my uh whoops with your chrome <laughs> dioxide yeah yeah you turn it into a ring oh gosh yeah well yeah i've got a couple of designs well probably three designs do you know, it's, it, it, you saying, I mean, the fact that we can do this now, um, I came, I, I started here at Jewelry Maker in 2011, then I went to present on our sister channels for a few years, um, and then I came back, when was it, in 2015, 2015, 2016. I remember having a conversation with our then, uh, with, 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 with our founder, um, saying, okay, so chrome diopside showcases, and he actually said you won't have showcases of chrome diopside for very much longer um, in finished pieces of jewelry because so little of it is actually available. We have 200 right here, right now. I don't know how this has become possible. I would imagine probably from the actual trip to the location mine itself. And they were, there's another, I'm running out of time today, but there's another film I could have showed you that actually the miners um, or the mine owners themselves were almost hesitant to take Steve and the team there because they didn't, they don't want everyone to know the exact location of this gemstone because of its extreme scarcity. Hello to you, Janice saying, uh, can I please ask what the big slabs of uh, blue stones are on the bar? next to Eleanor they look intriguing and Ooh. Karen uh, lovely Al one of those fabulous large pale blue stones these are turquoise and we are going to put them in this hour so the last remaining strands of your turquoise um, there is a queue on the phone lines hello to you all amazing I mean this is the this is the size that I would imagine 18 karat gold that I would imagine with SI graded diamonds that I would uh, imagine alongside you know your, your one of a kind pieces even and I'm fairly sure this is why I felt a little bit guilty Guilty that Jake wasn't actually with me this morning because I would be saying okay um, surely this is something that you would possibly take over to your Gemporia uh, jewelers and they'd actually create something completely mesmerizing for literally triple figures if not more and that is the reality that's probably what they would do well done keep dialing I've got to move on because we are running out of time oh should we do the turquoise should we do it now yeah. the big ones there's only 19 of these left they're the biggest turquoise i've ever seen ever barman a, a shallow forming gemstone so you've gone from you know chrome diopside <clears throat> which is actually surfaced through some uh, through kimberlite pipes um you know which is in relation to your volcanic activity this gemstone is almost surface forming genuine turquoise 
USA turquoise, so this might be from the Kingman mine, it might be from the Sleeping Beauty mine, it might be from other deposits. Either way, it's got that beautiful, beautiful waxy lustre. Who wants this under £100? The biggest sizes, I mean, each and every single one of those for me is a standalone pendant. Mm. At £99.95, have the phone lines lit up? I can't see. Oh, yeah. I only had how many? 19. 19. Suffolk, you've got yours. Congratulations. I mean, again, the, the drill hole's there, but you don't have to use it. Really no. love the fact that we haven't actually, uh, we haven't actually faceted these. We've kept, kept them in their most organic, natural form. This is the bra. Wow. It's amazing. I've brought these before, but I don't ever, that, that doesn't register the fit. It doesn't make sense, does it, for these sizes? For one of them. For one, yeah, I'd agree. So I'd agree. Alison, Warwickshire, Suffolk, you've got it. Sit back and enjoy. There was only 18. I've got Janet, London, West Lothian, Sonia, Gloucestershire, Elizabeth and Janice on the web. And I've got people on the phone lines too. So it's going to be, I think this may well be its last, its last uh, airing. Um, turquoise, please be mindful where you source your turquoise from. There are, there's much imitations out there and big pieces like this don't happen every single day. It, you know, in and around the USA, USA turquoise has been hugely invested in by some of the biggest and most affluent jewellers out there because it has that electrifying uh, robin egg blue. Really enjoying the matrix across these. That's the patterning that you see within your turquoise, which is massively desired. We're over allocated. These are the biggest that we have. No, 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 no if, buts, or maybes. It, it, these are the biggest that we have in our jewelry maker vault and probably are the largest that we've had for a very long time, mm. to be truthful. Down to the final four, they're incredible. You know, you, can you imagine actually asking me the question or me asking Wayne, Wayne, have you got any, uh, just casual, 34 millimeter solid <laughs> USA turquoise pieces? He'd be like, no, Al. No, but not just one, you're getting a whole strand. Two of them left, Amanda, Angus, Suffolk, Lorna, Janet, uh, Bristol, London, Warwickshire, Gloucestershire, Elizabeth and Glamorgan. I've got Fiona there, West Lothian there, Sonia there, Janice there, and, and phone callers as well. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Please don't abandon those phone calls. Wow. Uh, I love this. Certain locations you go to. Oh, that's a long strand. Let's hold up to the neckline, shall we? Pretty. Certain turquoise you get more of a dominance of green, and other turquoise you get more of the. See, this is for me is looks a lot more Sleeping Beauty blue, doesn't it? Yeah. See that stone there. This is actually um, the very, very, very typical turquoise colour is referred to as uh, robin egg blue. And it's this colour that saw Tiffany's and co invest millions into, ah, for quite logical reasons, I suppose. It's the colouring of their branding. But if you were to look at their turquoise jewellery, you'll find one tiny carat weight of this gemstone. Possibly not 48 carats. And especially not at £89.95. pence. Mm -hmm. I love the, the, I don't know, the, the gentleness of the fact that mm. these turquoise are not faceted or calibrated. They're polished and drilled so that you can, you can use them for $49.95. Right. Yeah, I mean, turquoise, not only is it a birthstone, we've, we've, we've enjoyed this gemstone for over 4,000 uh, 4, years. Um, the history is ever shifting because the mines themselves are so shallow. Um, you know, it's not unusual to hear about mining deposits of turquoise literally being deplete. Um, they'll move on to the next location, but it's always very, 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 very considered in terms of its price, not fifty pounds. And please, I keep saying it, but please be careful where you source this gemstone from. Um, where, where you find this gemstone from because no, there is a lot of imitations that are out there. You know, with us, you can purchase with complete uh, confidence, um, confidence and peace of mind. The final few of those, well done. Wow. We just dropped on the floor there. Oops. The wheels, 
I think this is a great way of gents wearing turquoise jewellery as well because the yeah. wheels for me they're quite unisex um, you're getting a lot I think this would be lovely actually on just a bit of beading thread this is brand new never been on your screens always one of our most popular cuts when it comes to turquoise beautiful Look I look, that. and with that, I, th I think that cuts very, very unisex. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I think so too. This is the kind of design that I don't know. Maybe, um, you know, if your if if your partner, whether it's male or male or female, whichever, um, is born in in December. Obviously, you're very lucky to actually have this uh, gemstone as their birth treasure itself. But for th literally centuries, centuries, we've absolutely adored um, this gemstone. Van Cleef, Netta Porter, Carolyn Tyler, Tiffany's & Co, like I said, big design houses that really do enjoy um, the beauty that these treasures offer you. $149.95 for a brand new premiere opportunity. Wow, going so low for your introductory price tag. 6,000 years we've absolutely enjoyed, ad adorned ourselves with this gemstone. It's been found um, dating back to sort of, well, literally prehistoric not prehistoric times but it has uh, it's believed to have been uh, mined <clears throat> right the way back to sort of the native american uh, cultures esteemed not just in the usa of course all around the world and regarded actually as a holy stone and a bringer of good fortune 69.95 well done check out those baskets everybody i only have a little showcase of your turquoise um so again i can't do whole hours i can bring you four strands of turquoise yeah. that's our that's pretty um, much our vault isn't it there's a couple but they're ones and twos yeah ones and twos in terms of the quantity of them um, and what would you do with these wheels then Alison are they harder to work with no I don't think they're any harder to work with they're just a different shape you know you could keep it the same restrand it maybe put um, a few spacer beads in the front just to, to focus the the attention to, to the larger ones in the front you can use them. Um, I, d I don't know what the drill hole's like on there. Could you make a stretchy out of these? I That'd think so, great. yeah, with your smaller gauges of elastic. I love that bracelet that um, Adam was just showing you. That's lapis lazuli, another gemstone around the same sort of era I kind of uh, place yeah. it with a few of your jump rings in between. Imagine yeah. that bracelet created with these and worn actually collectively alongside one another. Beautiful. Look well lovely. Done. Okay, the Finale. Was, oh. Wasn't this a previous deal of the day? I'm sure it was. I have the final 36. USA, Arizonian turquoise. I've got a friend that lives in Arizona and she quite frequently says to me, Ella, I can't get, I can't buy Arizonian turquoise at the prices that you offer here at Jewelry Maker. She tunes in quite regularly. It's oh. insane, that price tag. Just just dial now because it again it doesn't make any sense that's just the most gorgeous strand isn't it they're big I rounds believe. too alison we're still not done oh good grief um 36 of these <gasps> i've got like i said i've had conversations with my friend over in arizona who says oh i can't get hold of this gemstone at anywhere near the prices that you offer it at jewelry maker and you know you kind of think no, probably not. I'm pro I know. I know, I know. I was waiting for that reaction. Under £20 for genuine turquoise. I'm not talking about a gemstone which is plentiful and readily available or even an imitation of, you know, turquoise-esque, that play of colour, uh, play of words. This is a genuine turquoise from the state of Arizona. You know, I don't know. It might be round the corner from maybe the Sleeping Beauty deposits. It might be over the hill from the Kingman Mine or even the Cochise location. I don't know, but they're all iconic locations, regarded as iconic lake locations, for producing this absolutely epic example of this gemstone. Five of these are left within the vault, jewelry makers, just five. Well done. Um, I knew it was going to be its last airing, its last ever appearance. If you miss out on this, then make sure you add it to your wish list um, because. I don't know, things happen. Sometimes they drop out of baskets, but I've got two of them left currently. Don't let that happen to you. We should not be bringing a strand of this size of this gemstone at under £20. This no. should be £60, £70, £80. Pounds. Do you agree, Alison? I absolutely agree. You could knock me down with a feather with that. 
it's and, gone. and if there's any left, I'm not being greedy. If there's any left, I'm, I'm in there as soon as I come off. It's gone. Well yeah. done. Oh. Sorry, <laughs> Alison. Okay. Oh, I tell you what, we'll make we'll make up for it with a with a brand new premiere. So, <gasps> how many of you are loved loved that dazzling white topaz strand earlier on? How many of you would love it in round brilliant cut? This is absolutely breathtaking and it's a star by next. Right, jewelry maker friends, we're going to do something extra special for you today. All that Wayne and I ask mm. is that you have faith and confidence in us and you dial nice and early because literally we've got 20 minutes. We are running out of time. I want every single one of this launch to sell out literally today. And the reason why I say that is because they are too breathtaking to be in any dark vault. These oh. need to be worn. How would I describe this? Okay, any of you diamond graders out there, I'm gonna say that this is like your VSI diamonds. Anybody that absolutely love the most eye clean examples of colorless zircon, I'm going to say it's up there with the finest ones that you could possibly imagine. But even more than that, this is affordable and they are incredibly workable. Alison, be prepared. I, 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 sorry. <laughs> Look at these. Brand new, never on your screens before. Some of the most flawless white topaz, exquisitely faceted in your three and a half millimeter stones. They are beautiful. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know for sure yet, but I'm going to say Cambodia, 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 just because you have got that breathtaking clarity. Sorry? Okay. It doesn't matter to me where they're from. It just looks like they are from that, that Cambodian location because I cannot find a single flaw, a single imperfection in any one of those, those solitaires. Can I also just point out something that, you know, right in the UK, the average UK engagement ring, the average UK size of a diamond engagement ring is three millimeters. You have an entire 22 centimeter strand of a natural, genuine gemstone that, in my opinion, will surpass some of the, 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 the mainstream jewelers di uh, diamonds that you see out there. We're at 14.95 for this Whoa. level of quality. But remember, when I opened this, uh, this, this launch, I actually said to, to all of you watching right now, have faith and confidence that we are going to do something truly remarkable. We're not stopping there, jewelry makers. I want every single one of these to go home. I want the, to see them on the wall of fame. I want to see them in beautiful bridal tiaras, um, accenting maybe your beautiful sphene or blue zircon or your uh, specitite garnet. 40 of these have gone already. I'm taking it under 10 pounds for you, jewelry makers, for this one-time opportunity. And believe me, I do think it's going to be one time. Flawless white topaz. Wow. For this entire breathtaking strand. Oh my goodness me, you're ready. Well done. Thank you for those of you that dialed in nice and early. Time is of the essence for us. It's a live show. I can't just extend the show. That's not how it works. And I want to include absolutely everything. Alison, do you agree with my excitement? Oh, sorry. Yes. Sorry, <laughs> sorry she's fine. Okay. 
Alison, I'll just keep everybody distracted for a yeah, second. Yeah. <laughs> you carry on for a moment, my lovely. Well done, everybody. Anne, Jamati, Linda, Jody. Hello to you, Essex. Hello to you, Elizabeth. Uh, Suffolk's there. Quick question coming through from Janice in London. Can I please ask if you can use crimp tubes as spacer beads um, yeah. or are they too flimsy? No, 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 no. You definitely can, can't you, Alison? Yeah, absolutely can. And I do. I have done frequently. They're brilliant. They're, they're not flimsy at all. They'd look beautiful in between this, actually. I mean, that's like... Uh, here we go. This is this is a different gemstone, but just showing you how you, you could actually use these kind of shapes and cuts. I've got five of this strand left. Well done, mm. everybody. Um, actually, if you look back to the 8 o'clock hour, we had some really lovely crimp tubes, gold-plated yep. sterling silver. They would just make the most beautiful tennis-style bracelet. Um, not with diamonds with dazzling flawless white topaz well done everybody we're actually over allocated right um i've got time for another star by oh well done well done i knew you'd love that i knew you would who wants 16 strands in one bundle who wants something that is so incredibly current on the catwalk right now at the most amazing deal it's up next <laughs> Are you ready? So, think catwalk. Think Victoria's Secret models, Giselle, Naomi Campbell. I don't know, I'm not to speed on them. Strutting their stuff in these absolutely beautiful outfits with statement, statement jewellery like this. It is all about colour. And I know it's something that you've all been talking about on Facebook, for example. Big statement cuts raw textures like this so non-calibrated or facets um, wonderful designs like Alison is showing you here that's using one stone Alison isn't it just one <laughs> statement stone absolutely I love these I think they're fantastic that's an incredible wire work dagger is that right it is yes so I'm going to just literally casually drape 16 strands of genuine gemstones across the back of my arm. Um, and again, I have how many opportunities? 50 at the most ridiculously low price tag. When you consider how many of these, how, many, how much jewellery you can create. But right, where do I start? I'm really drawn to this one because it's not a colour that I see that often. Um, so some really beautiful rough cut quartz. In that wonderful, almost like a, this is like a cherry, like a um, Morello cherry, like red. Look how beautiful these are. You can taste them, can't you? I love that one. We had that one earlier, didn't we? It's, it's fab, isn't it? I think I teased you with it earlier on. And, and then we have these top drilled, glacial-like boulders, beautiful raw shapes. Then we have these amazing purple shards. Great for your mm. daggers. Yeah. And then you have your top drilled royal blue. They're more wow. like prismatic shapes. Then you have, this is a real mixture, by the way, of your gemstones. Um, where do I go from here? Then you've got your solar quartz in these gorgeous canary <laughs> yellows. Love wow. those. you almost got like a floral te uh, texture to the exterior. And you've got them in purple, that mystic coating. You know, almost like if you love your druzy, you'll love the coating of these. I've got a slightly orange, <clears throat> more orange strand just there. Then, speaking of druzy, I have some beautiful druzy. Each of those are standalone pendants. Then, oh my goodness me, have I not seen these before? Look at this golden rutile quartz. Oh, wow. I'm going to say, for that strand on its own, you're getting the entire bundle, I think. Then you've got some lovely uh, varicite. Then you have some... Is that Shades of Jasper? Shaded Jasper. No, that's not. That's Iron Tiger's Eye. 
Yes. Then you've got your... Oh, you're testing me now. This looks like Imperial, Jasper. Looks like Imperial. That's the shades, but you know when Imperial yep. Jasper has that smudging? Looks like that. You've got your Ruby Fuchsite. You have... Sargonetic Quartz. Oh, my God. Then you have your Rose Quartz. Look at how much you're getting. If anybody has ever wanted... Oh, hang on. And also a Black Rutile Quartz Strand. If anybody's wanted to start jewellery making, this is an absolute steal of a deal. But I'll say it again. For the Golden Rutile Quartz on its own, I'd be, I think you're paying for that. And you're getting 15 strands for free. If this is your first purchase, then you also get two additional Genuine Gemstone Strands and a Get Started with Jewellery Maker DVD because we want to invite you on your jewellery making adventure. Um, load you darling through. I have 15. 50 of them. It's an absolute steal. I'm going to take them off the back of my hand and lay them out on the desk, I think, because that's that way you can really appreciate each and every single one. And Emma can do some camera maneuvers as she does so beautifully. Wonderful camera maneuvers. There's your solar quartz. There's that beautiful Morello cherry quartz. You've got these wonderful glacial quartz drop pendants just here, all drilled in different positions by the way. Um, you've got these wonderful prisms, I'm going to put them there, and I've got some gorgeous purple ones of those as well. What else? Where do we go from here? Okay, there's your, <laughs> there's your varicite, there's your incredible, uh, what was that one again? That was the iron ti tiger's eye. There's your ruby fuchsite. <laughs> Ruby Fuchsite, we're bringing you that in a gemstone. Then we've got Emma, wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute, Emma, you're going too fast. This is working out at £3 per strand. Then you've got your black rutile quartz that you're getting just here. You've got your rose quartz. I'm going to have to move my book out the way because there's that many. Then you've got your sargonetic quartz. Yeah, you'd, sargonetic. Quartz doesn't generally form in red, apart from in sargonetic quartz. There's your shades of jasper. Does anyone else see what wow. I'm referring to? You've got that beautiful smudging that you find with imperial jasper. Um, yeah. And last but by no means least, look at this. Some of the biggest <laughs> golden rutile quartz slices that I've ever seen. 16 strands for 49.95. Thousands of carrots. How many in total, Wayne? I wasn't expecting him to answer me. 2,170, he said. Sorry, 2,570 in total. I mean, that's, you know, it's not just a, a, couple, of a couple of carrots, if you like, from uh, a local bead shop that you find sort of on some high streets that's 2500 that you're getting with a huge selection as well i mean we have the rarity of golden rutile and i'm sorry i keep focusing on that one in particular but golden rutile is incredibly difficult to fasten yeah. let alone having those flat slices has it gone oh sorry <laughs> okay i need to move on wayne says because we lose a lot of money on that one okay there we are then Wow. Um, okay. Oh, I've got this strand. I wear it in a stretchy bracelet. There's 26 left. You know what? I've, I wear this in a bracelet almost exactly the same as the Sphene. Uh. With just a few of your gold-plated 925 sterling silver spacers. I love that. It's so simple, isn't it? But look how beautiful they are. Stunning. Oh, look. This is literally, this is, this is the sea and the land. You've got the two, that connection there. Yeah. Mother Nature within two beautiful, genuine, natural gemstones. They go lovely together, don't they? They go beautifully. 1995 jewellery makers for stunning quality kyanite. Um, with those beautiful silks inside that look like driving rain. I mean, look at this one here. Often you, you get a, a phenomena effect within your tiger's eye. Can you see that? That level of chatoyancy? That's all down to the tiny uh, microscopic inclusions within the gemstone itself. This is all completely natural blue. It is one of those. For me, it's the silk. It's the silk, silky blue gemstone that's actually out there. 
Um, again, very challenging to actually cut, especially in your spheres. Uh, down to the final nine, Wayne says. There's only a handful of these. I have this exact strand, and I didn't do anything massively complicated with it. I just popped a few. You said earlier on, sorry, who was it that said about the, the crimp beads? Um, yeah, message about them. You had a message in, didn't we? You, Janice, I think they, 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 crimp beads would look lovely as spaces in between, don't you think, Alison? <laughs> Absolutely, they'd work perfectly. And you don't need, you don't, you could space every other if you wanted, or you could use a few again to draw the eye. They're just stunning. I'd also, I'd also think about knotting with that strand. Yeah, amazing, amazing together. Um, yeah. could I, you, you, know, you know your new findings pack that we were talking about earlier yeah. on with the studs, just one of those little, like a little droplet at, at the bottom yeah. of the ear. And, and because of that phenomenon, you're gonna get that as, as they move. Yeah, beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. There's been so many amazing gemmy gems today. I know that sounds a bit daft, but they have been, haven't they? We've had specitite. We've had sphene. We've had um, we've had beautiful turquoise examples. We've had lapis lazuli. You know, all of these would look incredible. Chrome diopside. They'd all look sensational together, and definitely one for your collectors. Six millimeter makes them very versatile and very wearable as well. Um, yeah. So kyanite's interesting because you, if you what, cut it in one direction it's four on the most scale if you cut it hot, sort of diagonally it's seven and a half so it becomes very very wearable as a treasure moving on uh two ah uh, yeah mm. <laughs> here you go um essentials yay absolute essentials with all the gemstones we've had today, we certainly need them. We do, don't we? Because just think how creative, just think how creative you're going to be following today's show. Um, oh. So these are your large jump rings, super large jump rings, internal diameter of seven millimetres. Um, also, chainmail enthusiasts will be loving these. Absolutely. Oh, look, Beautiful. the classic. What's this called again? Uh, the, the Mobius. Mobius, ring. that's it. And that's taken, what, three jump rings to create that Mobius design? Uh, has she got three in there? Because you can you can do multiple, so so there might be three, there might be five. Uh, can... Is it always odd numbers, Alison? Uh, well, I tend to use odd numbers because because it works. I don't know. It's like flowers. I tend to put odd numbers on flowers. Uh, no, well, I think, I think interior, in, certainly in interior design they do that, and in uh, garden design, yeah. that's because you've got a you've got a central focus, focus, haven't you? If you actually. Yeah. Um, um, use an odd number itself. Uh, Fifteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Now, I was going to say that you can make your own jump rings. However, we don't actually offer, to my knowledge, anyway, gold-plated nine-two-five sterling silver wire. So you, you, no. you're better off buying them. Um, so, what are you showing us there? Mobius so, ring. So that's a seven mil interior di diameter and the five it. one. Yeah. So, so they, they, you can do them with threes and fives. They just, they just look different. They're a great connector to do in yeah. a necklace. They're, they're fabulous. So you need your jump rings. Yeah, we don't oh, yeah. see the large size, do we? That frequently, not very often, anyway. Okay. Um, okay. They make great bales as well. So you know, we were saying just pop a jump ring through, and then you, it, it allows for for any any chain to free move through them. Well, we've been talking at the, the 8 o'clock hour, which seems like, gosh, five seconds ago, doesn't it? Gosh, where <laughs> yeah. did time go this today? Um, anyway, we were talking about sort of dual precious metals, actually using your precious metals together. So I'm about to show you that same jump ring, uh, but in the silver. So this is in 925 sterling silver. Those of you that got hold of that Arizonian turquoise, can you imagine oh. these little... Uh, Little circles of luster dotted in between. But also to finish it off, you know, a jump ring has a, an absolute function, without doubt. You can see it here attaching those beautiful droplets in this in this necklace itself. Fourteen ninety five, and you're getting a staggering fifty in terms of the quantity. Um, yeah, I mean you use them as Alison said for for, to, for pendant carriers, for charm carriers, to finish off your necklaces and bracelets. Ab absolutely they're, they're just great yeah you know in your bracelet in your stretchy as, as spaces um you know you, you you're always whatever m mode of jewelry you use you're going to come across spaces at some point you're going to need them you definitely so, are um, they are essential and again if you're if, if you are a chain mailer then stock up on your jump rings when you get the chance to 
um, because we don't tend to do hours of, of findings um, because no. they literally sell out super quickly. Well done. £14.95. It's a big gram weight of your precious metal that you've got here. 10 gram. 10 grams. Is wow. it really? 10 grams in total. And, we, and Alison's so right. We have actually had quite a, a sort of a wonderfully gem de gemmy day, haven't we? We've had a gemmy-licious day. A wonderfully gemmy-licious day. Um, Alison, and it has been so lovely to have you with me. I can't wait to see you in person. Soon, soon. Is it soon? It's soon. Oh, I hope so. Thank you for bringing your lovely <laughs> pet on to. What was his name again? Oh, Lewis. Lewis. Yeah, we love there. Lewis. We do love Lewis. Is he killed up in the corner? Um, no, so, strong. when's your next show? So, I'm next on on Friday on the mid, so I'm doing a masterclass. A little yeah. sneak preview. <gasps> Not quite finished oh, yet. Ah, beautiful. A kingfisher. Amazing. So, make sure you tune in. Alison, thank you so much. Sending you lots of love. And you. Looking gorgeous, darling. You Hi too. To um, I'm going to go now as well because your mid-show is coming up after the break for more inspiration and deals. <laughs>